Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome. Ah, oh, I missed you guys. Oh, we got an echo. I missed you guys. I oh, know we got an echo. Oh. Hey, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was a little awkward. That was a little awkward. So I just went live and nothing happened. So I, I was like, oh, maybe I forgot to schedule the stream properly. And then I realized it was just OBS being slow. So I terminated the stream. And then I saw all you guys saying hello, hello, hello. Because it, normally it takes me about five seconds to go live. But this time around, I had gone live for about 30 seconds. And I, and you guys were still saying late. So I was like, oh, there's something wrong with OBS. So I, I, I canceled the stream. And the moment I hit cancel, the moment I hit cancel, I see you guys saying hello. And I'm like, ah! That's annoying. That's annoying. Ah! I missed you guys. Oh my god, look at all the members. Yeah, really, I just want to maximize my streaming revenue by doing double streams. That's exactly it. Hey guys, oh my god, everyone's resubscribing. Oh, I missed you guys. My goodness, so many messages. So yeah, in case you've been living under a rock, you're, you don't read my community posts, and you're wondering where I've been. I got married. Look at my ring. You guys want to see my ring? It's pretty. So, I got married. I've been in America for about three weeks. This is a pretty cool ring. It has like wood in it. Look at it. Look at it. I'm pretty happy with it. Bethany picked it out. Kind of gives off a little bit of like a Viking vibe, don't you guys think? So, I'm a married man now. And uh, I'm looking forward to get back into streaming again. I've missed you guys a lot. It was nice to get a little break away from the internet. Honestly, kind of reset my mind a little bit. But I did miss it. And it's so nice to see you guys again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, hi Freefall. Hi Robmaster. Hello Anton. Hello Goten. Hello, it's oh, it's Jop. Basado. Hello Midnight. Hello Raim. Hello Brandon. Hello Bone Chill. Hello Pospy. Hello Animator Andrew. Nameless X. Okay, dude. Don Lots. Noring Guy. Big Tasty Pimple of Fist. Will. Luigi Kaloth. Also, Mr. Egger. Oh, you guys are still here. You haven't forgotten about me. It's always nice. That's always nice. You can like the donation messages now? Oh my goodness. There's Oh boy. We got 50 Mexican dollars. Oh, we can. That's funny. Werewolf donated 50 Mexican dollars. Welcome back. Yeah, congrats to you and Bethany. Child unit reveal done. Uh, we both want kids, so that's going to happen at some point. We just don't know when. Um, probably smart to wait a little bit. But uh, it probably will happen at some point. Um, Ramen donated 50 bucks. Congrats to you both. Ah, oh, thank you, Ramen. Noel donated 20 bucks. Congrats on getting hitched. Hope you had a good visit to America. I, I ate so much food. Oh, uh, Bethany is currently out in the kitchen where she belongs. Uh, she might come in at some point. Uh, she's cleaning. It's like a good wife. That's, that, 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 that's what she's doing. So, uh, but she'll come in and say hello at some point, I imagine. She's, she's in the house. Mm -mm. Um, let's see. We got ROM and Donut 49. Oh my goodness, I think I read that one. I, I wish I could read the memberships. I think I can actually if I do this. Can I? Yeah, if I do this, I can read the memberships. Uh, so we got the, the Last Rebel for 40 months. Let's go, Egg! Ashen Cavalier has been a member for 26 months. Egg, glad to have you back. Kayla's been a member for 8 months. Happy Marriage. Pimple of Fists has been a member for 18 months. He's back chat. Uh, Joy, member for 2 months. He's alive. Animator Andrew, member for 22 months. Welcome back, Manx. Thank you so much. Ramen, member for 6 months. Glad to see you back. Tragedy, member for 4 months. Yo! Felso, member for 28 months. We're so back. Sev, member for 17 months. Welcome back, Manx. Congrats to you and Bethany. 
Joe's Jop says, welcome back, man. It's great to have you back. A nice ring, bro. Congrats to you and Bethany. Aw, thank you. Yeah, America was great. Uh, T.S. Jasmine donated 20 bucks. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm like, uh, you guys. Uh, I missed you. I missed you guys. I, I really missed you. You're so red. I just took a shower. I just took a shower before stream. I always get red. I, I get a little red in the face. I might also be blushing a little bit because I'm so I'm so nervous. I, I, I don't know if I can do this, guys. Nah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not nervous. I just took a shower. Yeah, thank you, guys. It is appreciated. Being a married man is it's not cheap. <laughs> I had to get my wife a new laptop because hers was 10 years old. And she was like gaming on a brick. And I was just like, yeah, no, we're going out. We're getting you a gaming laptop. And um, also, she needs winter clothes and stuff like that. And when babies come into the picture, let's just say I need to hustle on YouTube. Let's just put it that way. I'm no longer just taking care of myself. I'm the main provider for my family now. So I appreciate it. I really do, guys. I really, really do. Um, yeah, Brick Gaming. Yeah, she, she was scared. Her laptop was so shit, man. It was so bad. <laughs> um... But yes, we are back. I am very much looking forward to getting back into the swing of things, uploading videos, doing what I love to do, working on Rebellion Saga, all my other projects as well. But yeah, America was great. Uh, we had we ate food, so much good food. My goodness, America is the land of calories. Oh my goodness. I went to Longhorn Steakhouse, Texas Roadhouse. I went to a place called Joe's Crab Shack, which was amazing. Um, I took my parents to Olive Garden. They loved that. Um, I went to, my goodness, so many good restaurants. Salsas was amazing. Portillo's? I don't think we went there, no. Gator Tail? No, I didn't eat gator, but I did have seafood. And it was delicious. So, but my brother-in-law really likes seafood. He's going to make, like, a slow country broil. I think that was what it's called next time I'm there, where he, like, cooks up a huge pot of, like, crawfish and stuff. So, Los Puyos Hermanas. Oh, we went to Chick-fil-A a lot. Bethany loves Chick-fil-A. It's like her favorite fast food place. She used to work there. So, um, yeah, Chick-fil-A is crazy. It's like the, the line outside of Chick-fil-A is so insane. Like, it has like fanatic fans. So, yeah, Ch Chick-fil-A is really good. I, I really like it. Their sauces are amazing. Mm. Most and least favorite restaurant? Um, I don't think there really was a restaurant I didn't like. Um, we went to... Hmm, I think I pretty much enjoyed all the restaurants I went to. There were no place that had bad foods. My parents went to Cracker Barrel and they ordered dumplings the second time and they really didn't like that. That was like the only thing they didn't like. Aside from that, everything was great. Mm-hmm. I did go to McDonald's, and you guys want to know something funny? It was dog shit. It was dog sh It was the worst burger I've ever had. We went to McDonald's. Bethany just wanted to show me how bad it was in America. Because, you see, in Norway, McDonald's is actually pretty good, believe it or not. <coughs> like, <coughs> the, the cheeseburger that you get at McDonald's in Norway actually tastes pretty good. Like, I think most of you would enjoy it quite a bit. Like, it is, it's fresh, it has good meat, like, the bread is fresh, um, the ingredients are really good. Like, uh, generally speaking, the quality of McDonald's in Norway is really high. So, when, um, when people told me that McDonald's was, like, so bad in America, I was, I was really curious. So, Bethany, we, we went through the drive trip at McDonald's one evening when we were really tired, and she ordered, we ordered, like, a cheeseburger, and it was, like, soggy and, and, like, it was the saddest cheeseburger I've ever seen in my life. It was so bad. It tasted like cardboard. Like, oh my goodness. I don't understand how anyone in America would ever go to McDonald's when they have like other options available. I kind of get it if you're poor because McDonald's is pretty reasonable. Like it's pretty cheap. So I guess if I guess if you don't have a lot of money, it's, it's a decent like alternative if you just want to grab a quick bite. But my goodness, the McDonald's in America is bad. I didn't realize how bad it was. McDonald's is not cheap anymore. Yeah, it used to be a lot cheaper, didn't it? But now everything's expensive, so. Uh, how was American hospitality? Well, I was in the South. I was in Florida, so everyone was real friendly. I mean, it is, you know, it's the, <laughs> it's the state of 
Trump, Jesus, and guns. I mean, it is like all the stereotypes you think apply to the Southern Americans are real. They are like, except that, you know, they're really nice. I mean, I, I imagine maybe they're not so nice if you go into their property uninvited. They have guns. So I wouldn't, like, I was out walking. Um, I was out walking um, in Florida and I was like just walking along the roads and there were many little roads that I would have liked to go into, but I was afraid that I would trespass on someone's property and get shot. So I just stick, I stuck to the road when I was out walking. So you need to be, yeah, it's yeehaw country. Yeah. Oh no. They are, it is every bit as stereotypical as I thought. It's pickup trucks, guns, cows, fields. It is, uh, it is pretty amazing. Yeah. Now, the, the place I was with actually does have a lot of crime, but it's mostly centered on the slum area. So the, the town that I was in was actually pretty safe. But as long as you stay clear of the slums, the slums is like where the shooting happens. Uh, but I, I never felt unsafe out walking in Florida. I, I felt perfectly safe. I didn't, I didn't find it scary at all. Everyone was super nice. There were a couple of homeless people, but they were nice too. Like I, I never really felt like I was in danger. So, well, I'm not going to dox my wife, but yes, clo around Jacksonville area. Oh, so around there. Yeah, around there in, in the area ballpark, not quite, but in the ballpark area. So, so um, anyway, congrats on surviving Florida, man. We did see a couple Florida men. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Download donated five bucks. Congrats, Eggman. Sorry for those of you just tuning in watching, wanting to watch Radiant Dawn. Like I have to, I missed you guys. I need to like talk to you. Um, download donor to five bucks. Congrats, Eggman and Egg Maiden. May the Egg God gift you a basket full of egglings. Uh, yeah. If I ask Bethany how many kids she wants, she's like, as many as possible. So, we'll see. We'll see how many we end up having. Uh, the Superfly donated a hundred bucks. Oh, wow. Hey, Mango. Miss ya, brother. And congratulations on you and Bethany on the wedding. Love ya, bro. Aw, thank you. Oh, I can super like donations now. Hi, Egg. Welcome back. Make sure you use the base with Grail Mercenaries to recruit the Eye Ladies this time around. Eye Ladies? Make sure you use the base with the Grail Mercenaries to recruit the Eye Ladies? Who are the Ice Ladies? Spring donated five bucks. Eye Ladies nuts on your face. Got him. <laughs> you guys want to hear a funny story? I'm, I'm just going to super like all the donations. Eric Holman donated five bucks. Damn, she dropped Dimitri for you. JK, congrats, case. Dimitri will always be in her heart, but yes, I'm at her husband now. It's so funny, I can super heart. Do you guys get notifications when I super heart your donations? That's kind of cool. I didn't I didn't know you could do that, but I did I, I super liked all the donations now. Let me know if you got a notification, I'm curious. Um so Bethany and I went to Starbucks at the airport, and they ask for your name, and I say Magnus, and they write Mango D's. Mango D's. And the first thing I say when I, when I say it is like, <laughs> Mango D's nuts. <laughs> Mango D's. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I wonder if they did it on purpose. <laughs> ah. Man, seems you got a little bit of weight. Your face is a bit larger. Oh, wow. Well, thanks a lot for calling me a fat ass on stream. I appreciate that. No, actually, I did not gain weight in America. I stayed roughly the same. I mean, my camera might be zoomed. I like my camera angle might be a little bit different. So that may be my, my face looks a little fatter, but no. Um, I, I actually did not gain weight in America, miraculously, even though we ate like crazy. Hi, sweetie. There's my wife. So, yeah, there she is. Is the kitchen clean? Yes. Okay, good. You can sit down. All right. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, no, America was amazing. I ate way too much food. I'm going to miss it. Here in Norway, we don't really have that kind of food, but that might be a good thing because uh, I'd rather not weigh 400 pounds in a year. So, all right. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. We got more donations coming in. They'll pop up at some point. All right. Mm -mm. So, it's time to continue. The Iron Man. It's 
bit satirical for those who don't know. No, 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 I was 100% serious. Um, so I think, you know, I need to load a safe state. There we go. All right. Ah, Jasmine says, Bethany, your dress was beautiful. Yeah, I don't know if you could hear that, but she says, thank you. So. Yeah, let's continue on the Iron Man. So yeah, we are in part three. I've reached the Grail Mercenaries. Um, I guess I'll quickly show off my transfers for you guys. I did do that last time, but uh, since it's been a while, I guess I'll show off. Because uh, I actually have, a, I got a lot of transfers from my old, um, from my Path of Radiance playthrough. Now I am a little bit worried about tonight's stream, guys, because I am very rusty. I haven't played Fire Emblem in weeks, and when you fall out of practice, you actually play worse. So I, I do need to be careful tonight. Uh, I really don't want to lose. So, now where is Ike? He's not here. Why do I not have Ike's? That's kind of dumb. Oh well. Uh, remember to check defeat condition. Yeah, we're gonna do loss review. We're gonna do loss review for sure. But yeah, I think my Ike got a skill transfer. I think he got skill and strength and defense. I don't remember if he got speed. Uh, we doing Unicorn Overlord? Yes. So on Sunday, I am going to finish Coring Quest because the servers go down on Sunday. So I'm going to stream Coring Quest on the last day the servers are up. Yeah, he got speed. That's exactly right. So, but yes, I will be finishing Unicorn Overlord. I will be finishing Coring Quests and I will be continuing Radiant Dawn. And then I'll be starting some kind of new project. I'm not really sure what. Um, here's Titania. I don't think I... No, she died, so no no transfers for her. She doesn't really need it, though. I don't find that Titania is, like, amazing in Radiant Dawn. She's okay. But she does, she can fall off a little bit, like so many other units here. Um, my Soren is amazing. Take, take a look at my Soren. So, my Soren capped magic, skill, and speed. And Res. And he has a 5% bone support with Ike. So, uh, Soren comes with capped skill. And that, that plus two speed matters so much. It is a big, it's, it's a big deal. Uh, because Soren is like just on the precipice of being able to double in Radiant Dawn, and that extra two speed really helps him in this regard. It, it can make him snowball really hard. The bond support is just 5% hit and avoid and crit and skill activation, I think, whenever he's next to Ike. Uh, I think he already has a bond support with Ike, but this one kind of adds to it. Yeah, magic does suck in Radiant Dawn. Speaking of sucking in Radiant Dawn, what the, what did they do to Mist? Not only did she, did she lose her mount, um, but her stats are garbage. And for some reason, the Florette, which is supposed to deal magic damage, does not. It deals physical damage. Because they coded it wrong. So, Mist is really bad. You can train her, but the reduced experience gains is really bad for her in the, in this game, I find. Noring Guy, don't want to attend Chester Super Chat. Sup, Egg and Bethany, congrats on the wedding. Uh, thank you, thank you. Connor, he'll... Chi, don't have two Canadian bucks. Happy for you and Bethany, wishing many happy years. Ah, thank you. Oh, uh, Connor, that's your 10th super chat. YouTube told me I need to celebrate it, so here you go. Sorry, should we say something? Okay. Yeah, it's coded wrong. It's literally just a coding error. It's terrible. I don't know why, but this. I, I guess it was just an oversight. I mean, Radiant Dawn is rushed as hell. Uh, Rolf. He's okay. I like Shannon better in Radiant Dawn, but he's okay. I think he has better growths than Shannon, doesn't he? Mm -mm. Kayla, donated 1999 to Super Shack. Can't stop for the stream, but have this since you're back. Ah, thanks, Kayla. You're the best. Let me heart that as well. There you go. All right, there we go. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Rolf in, in Radiant Dawn. I mean, he can be trained, but... Now, Shinon, on the other hand, this is a pretty damn good unit. His stats are really good, like... My goodness, he's tanky. He's got 20 base defense, 24 speed, 21 strength. He hits really hard. 
And the provoke skill, I, I don't remember if it's any good for Radiant Dawn. I, it can be okay. You can you can take provoke off and put it on Gatry, which can work sometimes. I might actually do that. I don't know. We'll see. So, uh... We also have Boyd. I find him to be pretty lackluster in Radiant Dawn as well. He, he falls off really quick. I feel like Boyd really needs a strength and speed transfer to be viable in Radiant Dawn. Like, if he has 20 speed, that's a lot better, but 18 is not enough to double most enemies. Give Provoke to Micaiah. Yeah, yeah, sure, that works. Manx, you ever gonna check out Athena, Athena Crisis game? Very advanced worse like but early access. Yeah, I've already been messaged by the developer, I think. I might check it out, we'll see. Now, are you guys ready for my Oscar? My Oscar is the best Oscar that ever Oscared. I got crazy transfers on this guy. Just get ready. Mm, 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 mm. Wait, do I not have Oscar? Oh, yo, no, I do. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's the best Lance Pal. The best Lance Pans. Pa Lance Pans. <laughs> Lance Pans. The best Lance Pal ever. You got a strength, a skill, and a speed, and a defense transfer. <clears throat> so, uh, 23 base speed is really good. He's actually gonna double everything. He's faster than Titania. Yeah, he is. He's faster than Titania. And then we also have a really strong Gatry. Um, with strength, speed, and defense transfer. He was 1 HP away from getting an HP transfer, which would have given him 5 extra HP. I'm really sad he didn't get that, but he comes with capped strength, so bonus experience can be really utilized on him to great effect. 22 speed on Gatry, yeah, that's pretty pretty cool. He's actually blazing fast. Yeah, they removed the Fire Emblem kit in Paper Mario, I saw that. It's so over for Fire Emblem, guys. It's so over. Engage killed the franchise, guys. They took the Fire Emblem kit out of Super Mario. They don't want- it. <laughs> Nintendo doesn't want to acknowledge Fire Emblem anymore, it's- it's Jover, guys. It's Jover! It's okay, though, we can just play the old games forever. I- I can play the old games forever, I don't need new Fire Emblem games. Cope, 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 cope. Um, here's a really good risk. With magic, skill, speed, and rest transfer. <coughs> Why'd they remove the NPC from Paper Mario? Because N Nintendo hates, uh, Fire Emblem now. Because en Engage was a colossal failure, and they, they're embarrassed. I don't know, I don't know. Probably they just forgot that, I mean, I, I really don't know. So yeah, look at my Rizza. He's got a speed transfer, and he still only has 16 speed. He's got a speed transfer, and he still only has 16 speed. How garbage is that? And then you have, actually, in my opinion, one of the better units in the Dawn Brigade. You got Mia. She doesn't have any transfers, but her stats are really strong still. 28 speed is crazy. Like, she's so fast. Ugh, oh, here comes the armpit gang. The last rebel donor, 10 bucks. Love you and Bethany both. Hope your special day was amazing. Have a gift for both of you as well. Good luck on the stream. Ah, oh, thank you, Rebel. You're the best. Yeah, our wedding was pretty amazing. I I did we did film it. Um, Jake and Davis was there. And uh, we filmed it for several several angles. Um, so I'm I'm probably gonna make a wedding video of it. It was really nice. Bench me out of spite. I uh, will see. We'll see. Hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. You want to hear? You want to hear a wedding story? All right. So uh, we rented tuxes for the wedding, or suits. Not tuxes. Suits. We rented like, you know, the traditional suits that you you guys have seen the pictures. You know. You know. You know what kind of suit I was wearing. All right, so we're we're stopping by a few days before the wedding, and uh, we're picking up the the suits, right? And uh, the guy in the store asks me, "Would you like to try on the suit?" And I say, "Of course, I'd like to try on the suit." So I try on the suit, and you know, just everything fits, you know. And 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 as I'm taking the suit off, he's like, "Do you want me to pack it up for you again?" And I'm like, "Sure, that'd be nice," because. It comes in this pretty elaborate little hanger where all the little things are folded into each other. Uh, so he's like, don't worry, I got you. I'm going to pack it up. Now, 
The first thing I thought when this guy went close to me is, this guy's breath smells of weed. Really, really strong weed. So he probably smoked either during his lunch break or before he got to work. But I was like, you know what? He seems like a nice guy. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge him just because his breath smells of weed. You know, he, he seemed like a professional. He knows what he, what he, he knows what he's doing. So he packs up my suit, puts everything neatly in, and you know, folds it up, gives it back to me, and I'm like, thank you. Me and Bethany, we grab all the suits for me and the groomsmen, and we leave the store. We uh, go to the church the day before the wedding. We hang up the suits, and uh, you know, I think everything's okay. So the, the day I get married. I go down to the church, you know, I, I go and I say hello to the pastor and all the, gu the guests that have arrived and stuff like that. And I got about two or three hours before I'm going to get married. And uh, me and the groomsmen were sitting inside the room and uh, we're like, should we get dressed right now? It's like three hours until the ceremony. And we're like, nah, it's okay. We don't need to get dressed right away. I mean, well, let's just sit in our casual clothes and chill for a little bit while the girls are getting ready, you know? And so... <laughs> we wait and we wait and it's like maybe one hour 15 minutes until I'm gonna be in front of the altar getting married and I go get my suit the shoes are missing the guy who packed up my shoes forgot to pack the shoes in so I don't have shoes for the wedding I find Bethany I tell her that I don't have shoes one of the bridesmaids has just fallen down the stairs and was injured and Bethany's standing in the stairs, and I come up, and I'm like, Honey, I don't have shoes. And it's like, I think if looks could kill, Bethany would have killed me with her look that day. I was like, I was like, she, she was like, What What the fuck did you say? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have shoes. I don't have shoes for my wedding. And uh, we called the store. It's like, Hey, hey, uh, do you by any chance have a pair of shoes? in your store, and they're like, yeah, yeah, we do. Like, Did it ever occur to you to call me and let us know that you have my shoes? Oh yeah, they're here, sorry about that. The store is one hour away. I'm getting married in, in an hour, there's no way. Jake is considering speeding down to Walmart, maybe it's like 20, 25 minutes away, and seeing if you can get like a piece of like piece of cheap shoes, um, and we're like in full panic mode, going around like, what are we gonna do? I'm, I can't get married in my socks or my sneakers. Like that is not gonna happen. Luckily, Bethany's dad, who was also the pastor of the wedding, is one shoe size above me. So I took his shoes, and he had a pair of like brown shoes that he could substitute for it. it not the best look, but. No one really looks at the pastor's feet, you know, it's all about the, the bride and the groom, right? So, luckily I was able to borrow his shoes, and he just put on some brown shoes, and, you know, we just hoped that no one would really look at his feet during the ceremony. I don't, th I don't think anyone noticed, I really don't think anyone noticed. So, we, luckily, we were able to save it, but I almost got married in my socks, or in, like, uh, sneakers. So, that was really bad, and then, a few days later, well, me, uh, well, Bethany and I are on like our kind of like our honeymoon uh, um, at a beach. They send me a freaking survey, and they're like, "Hi, how would you rate our services?" And I lay into them. I'm like, "Bruh, forgetting my shoes is bad enough. Why didn't you call me when you found the shoes in the store? Why didn't <clears throat> why why did I have to call you one hour before my wedding and be like, "Hey, are are my shoes there?" And they're like, "Yep." So, you know, I'm sorry, the guy smelt of weed, I didn't want to judge him, but clearly he wasn't paying very much attention. So, uh, Men's Warehouse in Gainesville, shame on you. Shame on you, Men's Warehouse. Do better next time. Do better. Alright. Anyway. Let's play some Fire Emblem. I, I just doxed the location we got the suit, but that was not where we got married. It's, it's like a semi docs I guess. You know that I rented my suit in Gainesville, but it was not the place I got married. So, you know, but I, I did say, I did say Jacksonville at the start of the stream around Jacksonville. So, you know, roughly the area, but you don't know where I got married. So, they're, they're like 
200,000 churches in Florida, so good luck finding the one I got married at. Mm -mm. All right. So, chapter 3P, this is an interesting one. <laughs> 3P. Um, this is what I like to call, like, the Battle of the Green Units. Like, on the left side, we got the Grail Mercenaries. On the right side, we got the Green Units. Now, there is a very, very tiny chance that Skrimir can die. I have seen it happen. It is not... I think it's very low, but it is possible. Basically, what can happen with Skrimir is he has Provoke. So, if he untransforms... His gauge is really long. He's a lion, so he's got a very long gauge. He's got, like, the longest gauge in the game. So, he will stay align for most of the map, but he can untransform, like when he's up here. And if the enemy decides to gang up on him, he can actually die. I've seen it happen, like once during my playthrough of Radiant Dawn. And he, he, him dying is a game over condition. In fact, let's do Lost Review. So, uh, Ike, Ranolf, and Skrimir dies. Right, yeah, that's right, Ranolf is on this map too. I think Ranolf can die too. Yeah, Ranolf can definitely die. But because Skrimir has Provoke, they will very rarely target Runoff, so. I've been to that men's warehouse. They do meth there? Are you serious? How do you know? I'd like to know sources. Because the guy who, guy who fitted my suit, he smelled so strongly of weed. He was nice. He seemed professional. But the weed smell was so strong on him, and I really reacted to it. I was like, ooh. You know, I know people can smoke weed and still function, but it's like... It's not a great look, you know, when you're dealing with the guy that's supposed to, like, handle something very important for your wedding. My wedding was great. Yeah, you'll see a video soon enough. <laughs> At least the weed guy wasn't your dentist. Yeah, that's true. Alright. Hey, man, it's good to see you back. Okay, this map is scary. Um, a lot of things can go wrong here. Um, I think we'll start with... We'll move in risk first. Uh, do I have any torches? I don't remember. I think you can find torches here, right? Lead with Mia. I'll scout with Riss. There you go. Ah, let's go, Ike. Ah, the Etard. Let's go. Yeah, the Grail Mercenaries have a good uh, good battle theme. Oh, he propped it up. Nice. Let's go soaring. Do 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 do. And there's ballistas here, which you can also use to help out, which is kind of nice. Yeah, the theme is great. <laughs> I don't know why his sword is called the Etard. It's so it's such a weird name. I'm not really sure why. Can you believe it took before Smash 4 before they used the Devoted in a Smash game? It's a great song. They should have used it a lot more. Is it Racism Friday? Whenever Shinon is here, every day is Racism Friday. Oh boy, are you serious? Ah, oh, there we go. That's better. Yeah, that's true. The Radiant Dawn uh, battle theme, it keeps on going, which is actually pretty cool. Do, 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 do. Let's go, Oscar. My Oscar is going to be insane. He's going to double everything. Etard and Alandite are maidens from the King Arthur Legends. Ah, thanks, TC. Always nice to see TC in chat. He's my oldest subscriber, you know. I know I said this a lot, but... TC, sub TC was like my eighth subscriber or something. Ooh, let's go, Mia. Oh, careful, Boyd. Oldest Stellaron. Yeah, true. There are a few that are older than TC. Red shakes my... Yeah, I, I took a shower before the stream, okay? My, my 
I, I have soft Norwegian pink skin, okay? When I ha when I take hot showers, I look like a blushing anime schoolgirl. You can't say a turd anymore, it's 2024, sorry. Um, what do we say? Sword of Et? Have you taken your joy, my good sir? Bro, I am just 24. Yeah, TZ was like... How old were you when you subbed to me? Like 12? You must have been like 12 or 13. Can you forge the Etard? I think... You, no, you can't. I think can you? Because you don't. You don't forge weapons you already have in this game. Just learn some English in middle school. Let's go. I was fourteen when I subbed to you. My goodness. Okay, guys, let's do an age uh, check. How old were you when you first subbed to this channel? I want to see how many many of you were babies back then. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -bum, bum. All right, we're gonna send Rolf over here. I don't. This usually doesn't help much, but if you get a crit, it can help. 12, 14, 4. I refuse to believe a four year old sub to this channel. Where were your parents? All right, let's go, Riz. Boom, boom, bro. The Wrestler. Let's go. Yeah, I love the Wrestler. He's great. Three point fourteen. I believe I subbed to you like six years ago. Yeah, some of you guys have been around for a while. Does my Gatry double? Oh my God, he does. My Gatry doubles mages. Let's go. Soren, no! Ah! Why are you like this, Soren? Speed transfer, Soren. Magic transfer, Soren. Still one damage short. Oh, never mind. You proc the depth. I'm wondering if it's worth keeping adept on Soren, actually, since he's got such good transfers. What do you think of Mist as a unit? I think she's pretty bad. Um, hello? I think she's really bad. I mean, just look, look at these stats that she has. What the hell? Why couldn't they just let her keep her mount? I don't get it. Like, she... Why did they demote her in this game? Why couldn't she just have started out as a mounted healer? I, I just don't understand the rationale behind that. Riss is the superior healer. He's so slow, though. They both are. She has seven move. Is that like better than most other footlock dealers? I think Riss has six, right? Let's find out. So uh let's see, she has seven move. And Riss has six. Okay, see she has one more move than Riss, but I still just wish she kept her horse. Gatra is still not one shotting. I really want to put Provoke on him, actually. Why is the Wudao so shit in Radiant Dawn? Have you guys seen how bad the Wudao is in this game? 20 crit? Why? I subbed in 2016. Why does everything- why did everything happen in 2016? She ate the horse. <laughs> A horse can be good, though. Horse meat is delicious, so... I don't blame her. Oh wow, double missed, let's go. I subbed in 2014. She missed her horse, ha ha ha. I, t I was just about to say, I tend to lose Boyd on this map. Um, okay. Wow. He just ate a crit. Damn. Luck issue, yeah. This this again, hard mode radiant on man. It can be a little RNG sometimes. He did survive, yeah. Barely. I think that, that had a 
probably had a chance to kill him at full health, because there's some strength variance of these, between these units. Meng's real question, now that you're married, is Beth better than waifu Luis from FE7? Yeah, because Luis is not a real person. So, yeah, I, I, prefer, um, I prefer a real woman to a fictional one. Yes, I know that shocks some of you. What? What? He likes real women? Cringe. No, sweetie, of course. Not the only reason. You're, you're also very lovely. I feel... I feel like whatever I say here, I, I'm just walking over a minefield right now. <laughs> that sounds like a cop out. What when I when I ask her a question like that, there's no way I could like There are just some questions that you cannot answer in a good way. Mm. Alright, we got a mage right there. Oh, so close to one-shotting. Kind of sucks how you almost never get any experience in this, uh, in these maps, though. Alright, let's, uh, let's see if we can use some killer ballistas here, kill some mages. There you go, good job, Shinon! Is counter a good skill? Uh, not in this game, no. It's pretty shit. It's like, uh, skill percent of chance to deal 50% of the damage you take back. It's pretty bad. I would not recommend. Oh, we, can we kill someone with Florette? Let's go. Oh, no, wait. This, this is not an enemy. This is Bleep. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I think we'll keep Boyd in the back for now. Uh, we'll put Oscar in the front. Oh. Oops. Uh, that may have been a bad idea, guys. There's a horse slayer? Oh, no. Ah, shit, they're killing all the tigers. There is a horse slayer there? Really? Oh, no. Dodge, Mia. Dodge! There you go. Wow, she deals zero damage. Wow, this is truly the Mia experience, guys. Is that really a horse slayer? No, that's not a horse slayer. Good dodge, good dodge. Does he double halberd ears? Yes, he does. Okay, good. Okay, we're good. We're good. Alright, let me read some donations. All right, Pimpolofist donated a 10 bucks to Super Chat. Congrats to Bethany and you, by the way. Remember the great girl I met? Turns out she is into girls. <laughs> so, Hanukkah, you're looking for some French girl? Contact me, I know someone. Oh, boy. So you met a girl and you turned her lesbian? That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That's... I don't know, that's not something any guy wants to hear. Like, you go on a date with a girl and she's like, yeah, by the way, I like girls. Um, I believe Hanako is in a, like, a, I think Hanako's been in a relationship for like 10 years, so I, I don't think she's on the lookout for girls, but... Hammer of Subtlety. Hi, Manx and Beth. Congrats on marriage. Good luck on the Fire Emblem Parent run whenever you get around to that. Eh? Might be sooner than you think. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> Legend of Korra moment. Bethany and I watched a real funny video on the Legend of Korra. Uh, Be Bethany gets angry whenever whenever Legend of Korra gets brought up, because she's a big Avatar fan, and she really doesn't like Legend of Korra. Uh, which, to be fair, I none of us really do, so... I, I think it started off okay. I only watched the two first seasons. I thought season one was okay, and then season two was kind of downhill, and I just stopped watching from there. The original Avatar, though, masterpiece. Mwah. One of the best shows ever made. Uh, let's see. 
see if we can kill one of the mages. The mages are really the only thing worth attacking here, because the armor knights don't really take damage. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we don't talk about live-action Avatar here, guys. Oh my goodness, don't get me started on I haven't even watched it. I have just watched videos shitting on it, and that's enough for me. No. I have given up any hope that, that people are capable of making a good live-action adaptation of anything. When was the last time we got a good live-action adaptation of anything that wasn't Lord of the Rings? Can, can, anyone, na can anyone name a single good live-action adaptation? I hear One Piece isn't awful, but even that seems pretty bad. Yeah, people are saying One Piece. I hear One Piece is passable. Like, it's not amazing, but it's okay. The Boys? Yeah, The Boys was actually pretty good. Mario Brothers? <laughs> you mean the old school one? Let do do move to side to side do the Mario. Are, are you talking about that one? What? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. No. I just remember that because of all the memes and the YouTube poops. I tried watching season two of Invincible. It didn't really. I I, I watched season one of Invincible. Season 2 did re didn't really do it for me. Like, I don't know. I just, I just didn't... It wasn't interesting at all. Twilight was a perfect adaptation. Story was crap. Characters were crap exactly like the books. Twilight is just some women's vampire fanfiction. And you cannot... You cannot tell me otherwise. It feels like a fanfiction of itself. It's like, oh my god. I am a girl, and I'm so hot, all the vampire boys wants to be with me. Oh, they get driven mad by my smell. Oh, they sit next to me in class, and they're like, Oh, I can't control myself, you're so hot. It's like, this is a 14-year-old girl's fanfiction, I'm sorry. My first girlfriend was not into Twilight, but we bonded over shitting on Twilight together. She actually, she like, hate-read the books. We had a lot of fun shitting on Twilight. Imagine the smell. <laughs> you know a bit too much. Look, she really hated Twilight, okay? I listened to her rant a lot about it. Alright, I have not been paying attention to the Lagoose at all. I hope Scrimir and Ronulf are safe. Ooh, I don't like that. My first girlfriend, like back when I was like 16, I, I, I was, uh, my, my, my very first relationship. I dated kind of like, um, she was like a vampire girl. She's not a goth girl, but she had like, she had like bat earrings. Like she was like big into vampire books, but she hated Twilight. Oh, I thought it was his death quote. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You can't talk about other girls with your right. Bethany knows about my previous relationships. If you if you're not willing to discuss your your past with your uh, with your wife, then uh, you know she was a scene kid. I guess that's what you call them. Like not a goth girl, but a girl like like a girl that wore like goth accessories. I guess it's called like a scene girl or scene kid. It was like big, you know, you know how anyone who was around in the 2000s, you know the MySpace girls, you know how ever, um, if you know who Shoe on Head is, you anyone know who Shoe on Head is on YouTube? Shoe on Head, she looks like, she, she has like that style, that was like every girl back in like 2005 looked like that. Boxy, Boxy, yes, thank you, sweetie, Boxy, I think she was like one of the, every girl in 2005 looked like that. Like, very, like, dark eye makeup, some kind of, like, fancy earrings, um, so, yeah, and, and, and sometimes they'd wear, like, uh, spike bracelets. It was, like, it was, like, the big, everyone looked like that. Does Bethany like Radiant Dawn? And um, she hasn't played it. We'll get around to playing it eventually. Uh, she has played FE7. Uh, she, she beat FE6. 
And I think that's of the old school games. I think that's the only two games she's beaten so far. My wife is a little bit slow to try new things. I gotta, I gotta like, I gotta insist. <laughs> she, uh, she, she just likes to beat the same games over and over again. She's like, hmm, I could try a new game, or I could uh, play on my Conquest save file, which has like 500 hours into it, and I could beat the same missions again. Or I could play through FE7 for the 17th time. What can I say? Creature of habit. Yeah, she likes Louise. Um, um, so... I don't think Bethany will get the badge. She is like, she needs 2,000 battle points and like 3,000, I think she needs like 3,000 battle points and 2,000 visitation points. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, and besides, it doesn't matter because um, you can't, once the servers go down, you can never get those items again. Because you, you, you have to update to get them. And you won't be able to update your servers anymore. So once the servers go down on Sunday, you guys will never be able to get those rewards ever again, unless you already have them on your save file. Yeah, it's lost media. You will never get it again. You guys also know, we'll never get Revelation again, ever. Revelation will be forever gone. You will never be able to get it unless you emulate. I know, terrible, right? Mm. Rev mentioned! Rev gang! Rev gang! Rev gang! Do you guys ever get tired of being like this? Like, do you, do you guys ever get tired of, like, being excited every time I bring up Rev? No, no, I, I figured not. I, fig I, I figured you didn't. Which means that from Sunday onwards, there's a looming threat for a Rev remake. <laughs> Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen, guys. Where is Runolf? I need to relocate Runolf. I see Skrimir there, but I... I think Runolf just untransformed. Because he's a cat, and cats untransform immediately. Mm. Oh my goodness, look at Skrimir. He just like... Do he, he just like juked all those guys. Yes, I'm going to do Coring Quest on Sunday. Uh, we are literally going to be streaming live when the servers go down in real time. I feel because they're going to go down. If I'm not mistaken, they go down on. Actually, they might go down at like 4 a.m. my time. I don't really know because um, they go down on the eighth, so they might go down on. Actually, I don't know if they'll go down on eighth at midnight or if they'll go down on seventh, like at midnight. Really don't know, but I'll make sure to recruit a bunch of coins before that happens. You can still play Rev, though, if you have it installed. It's not like you'll never... You just can't install it anymore. So please uninstall Rev before uh, before the service go down. Make sure that you'll never, you never have to see it again. No, no. What the... Oh, that's Mia, not Ike. What the hell? Okay, this is scary. I'm taking a chance with Mia right here. Oh, here we go. We will keep rep forever. We'll see. We'll see, guys. We'll see. I don't really think I need to move these units anymore. I think Skrimir will probably mop up the boss. When will Mangs play Tearing Saga, Berwick Saga, Las Beria Chronicles? What's Las Beria Chronicles? I never heard of that. Mm -hmm. This map OST is one of my favorites. Radiance Dawn is OST is full of bangers. I love it. More <laughs> Wu Dao, more like Wu, Wu Don't. Yeah, it's so bad. I don't know what they were thinking. When will Manx return to XCOM? Good question. I actually feel, felt a bit of an itch to play XCOM lately, but I'm kind of wondering if I should go back and play the original XCOM. I like XCOM too, but I think there's something charming about the first XCOM game. Mm. 
Wasn't Fire Emblem Rev on the card? I were there ever physical rev cartridges? I don't think there. I don't think so. Alright, let's kill the boss. Who are you, swine? XCOM 2 is a better game, but I do find XCOM 1 to be a very charming game. Oh, let's go. Level up, Ike. Speed. Get speed, boy. Get speed, boy. Or strength, you know. That works, too. I don't think rip cards exist, guys. I don't think that's a thing. Ah, okay. I see. Do, 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 do. Well, we might as well get a little bit of healing experience on Rest and uh, Mists. There's actually a good way to get a lot of experience on them because there's a lot of damage to the goose. And since I'm standing on the throne, um, Skrimir won't seize the point. Watch out, there's one right behind you. No, I'm good. I don't think there's anyone here, right? There's only an armor knight left. And Skrimir's gonna kill him. Oh, fuck. I thought I was run off. Oh, my goodness. What number is the season? I've done six attempts so far. You can see it in the bo bottom right corner. So because I'm hogging the cease points right now, I could give some experience to Mist and Rest. I don't know if it's worth it though. It might be. Do you guys do you guys think it's worth it? It's a little bit of extra experience. It couldn't hurt, right? No, it's the sixth attempt. It says in the bottom right corner of the screen. Bonus experience? I guess you do lose out on a little bit of bonus experience, don't you? Give all the experience to Riss. I would really like for him to get a few levels. Maybe I can level speed a little bit. Also, um, if I want to do any supports, I can do them now. Uh, we could do... We could do Shinon Rolf. Uh, we could do Boy... I don't know if I'm gonna do Gatray. We could do Soren Ike. I think Soren Ike is a pretty decent one. Mengs, which is your Fire Emblem Fates waifu? Um, I don't actually know. I guess Sel Selena? For as much as I love Fates, I actually don't, like, I don't feel super strongly about any of the waifus there. No, I don't like Camilla. I think Camilla... If Camilla had, l like, plate pants, I think she'd be a lot prettier. But the panty window just ruins it for me. I, I hate it. We could do Riss Mia. That's actually a pretty good combo. And we could do Riss Mia. Uh, I actually... Okay, so here's the funny thing. I actually don't like Charlotte. Um, I really don't like Charlotte. I know you, you guys think I might like her. Oh, what a level up. Let's go. You guys actually... I know a lot of guys probably think I'm into Charlotte, but I don't. I actually find her incredibly unappealing. I don't like her face. I think her face is weird. I think her attire is really, like, just... Like, the, the cloth bikini just doesn't do it for me. I think it's weird and trashy. Um, I, I've never been a fan of Charlotte. Let's do work on the Ike support, the Mia wrist support. Can she pick him up? I don't know. Uh, actually, let's do Mist Boyd. Don't you get something if you missed Boyd? <laughs> if you missed Boyd. Uh, we could do Titania. I think Mist and Boyd gives you like a stat booster or something. Yeah, you get Spirit Dust, don't you? Setsuna? No, as I said, it's probably either Selena or Kagero on Birthright. Selena and Kagero are like the two only female characters that I think are... They, they look pretty good. 
But uh, no, I don't. I don't like. I don't like Charlotte. I hate Camilla. Uh, hmm. Ophelia. I like Ophelia. Ophelia's cute. But only if she's blonde. She she looks best blonde. I think she looks weird with uh, the other hair colors. Let's see. Can you pick up Mia? Yes, you can. That's good. Um, how about Gatry Titania? Maybe. Do you guys remember where you get the hidden items here? I know there's a few. Ophelia is canonic blonde. Yeah, I know. Mm -mm -mm. Reyna, I find Reyna incredibly creepy. I, I, I don't, I don't understand Reyna. I don't understand the Reyna hype. Like the old scarred, morbid lady. Like, ugh, what's the? Ugh, I just don't get it. I just don't get the appeal. Baruka? Nah, it's just. She's small, man. It feels weird. Alright, we'll do Gatry Titania. There we go. All the Grail Mercs are supported up. Let's just wait a couple turns. Hana is actually pretty cute. She's not my waifu, but I like her design. Too bad she's a like a garbage unit though. What about Flo? I like Flora and Felicia actually a lot, but that's mostly because I think the the Nora maid outfit is really cute. I don't know if it's actually because of Flora or Felicia or just because I like the maid outfits. Do you guys remember how much people hated Felicia's voice when Fates came out? I think people like it now, but it was like people dunked on her voice actor. I remember like the, we got trouble. People hated her voice. People like it now, but I feel like it's kind of grown on people. But I remember back in the day when Fates came out, people were like ridiculing her voice. They were like, this is the worst voice any Fire Emblem characters ever had. Keep in mind, it was not normal to have voiced Fire Emblem characters at this point. Only Really Awakening did it before. Oh yeah, people dunked hard on Fates, myself included, when it came out. Be mostly because of its atrocious story. This is why I wondered if Engage would eventually become more liked in the community, because I think there's a lot of similarities between Engage and Fates. People really made fun of, uh, of Fates when it came out. Like, I ridiculed the game to hell and beyond. But then, something kind of happened, and I just started really appreciating a lot of aspects of Fates. Especially Conquest, which I think, to this day, is probably one of the best games in the series. Um... And I think Fates was mostly saved by not being voice acted. I think I think not being voice acted made the game a lot less cringe than if it were voice acted. I think Engage actually being voice acted was very bad for it. But the difference between Engage and Fates is that Fates was hated initially but people still played it. Engage was hated initially, and people don't play it anymore. <laughs> That's the big difference. And that kind of sucks. Because when people don't play a game, it kind of dies. And and that's that's a shame because I do actually think Engage is, you know, you guys know I shit on Engage a lot, but I actually do think the gameplay's on par with Fates. I think I think Engage gameplay is actually really good. But there's just something about Engage that makes it more cringe than Fates. And I don't know if it's just nostalgia. I don't know if it's the fact that Fates has grown on people over time. But it seems to me like people are just more willing to forgive Fates for its cringe compared to Engage. I don't know. Maybe, it, maybe it's the character design. Maybe it's the music. Maybe it's the maps. I don't know. If there's any truth to that, there's something very wrong here. Well, I don't know why that is. I just know that it's the case. Again, I spend a lot of time looking at analytics and trends, and I can tell you, Engage is dead. It is deader than any Fire Emblem game has ever been in the history of the series. It is dead. It is dead. No one plays it. No one plays it. And, of course, I understand there's a few of you who does, but I'm, I'm speaking broad strokes in the Fire Emblem community. One year, it's been over a year since Engage came out, it's dead. 
Like, no one cares about it, statistically speaking. Like, on a percentage scale. Which is really, really bad. And I wish it wasn't the case, because I do think Engage does something good. And I understand that there's a few people who really like it, and they defend it, and, speed, you know, Speedwing here, he, he loves to make videos talking about how much, how great Engage is, and, you know, good for him, good for him. Yeah, 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 and 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 I'm I actually watch Speedwings here's Iron Man. I think it's I think it's pretty entertaining. He is engaged as strong as soldiers. And look, good like if you enjoy Engage and you love playing it, great for you, man. I'm happy for you. I wish more people were playing it and were happy with it as well. It's just sadly not the case. I think we've gotten the support points we need now. I miss your spotlight videos. I, I I have been meaning to go back and make a spotlight again. It's just been so long. I kind of forgotten how to how to do it. Mangs, you aren't playing it. I'm sorry. I just my audience wasn't interested in it. What can I say? Look, I did a poll. Okay, I did a poll on my channel, and I asked my audience, "What do you want? Do you want me to continue the engage Iron Man, or do you want me to play like something like an older game like FE7?" Like, 80% of my audience voted, don't continue the Iron Man. 80%! Or, maybe it was 70%. It was either 70 or 80%. That's hard for me to ignore, man. That's hard for me to ignore. Okay? I know that YouTubers are like, oh, do what you want, don't care about the views. Like, no, I, I need to do what my audience is interested in. Do you love democracy? No, democracy is pretty dumb. Because most people are pretty dumb. Real question, do you ever feel that maybe your negativity towards the game also influences your audience perception of it? Here's the thing though. If you if you go back and watch my engaged content, I, I actually am pretty positive towards it. Like go watch my engaged review, which is like an hour long. I actually praise the game a lot. When I was playing Engage, I was not shitting on it that much. I was shitting on the story, but I was not I was not shitting on the game. Like I guess, like, do you guys think I was shitting too much on Engage when I was playing it? I, I thought I was pretty positive, personally. Like, I, yeah, I made fun of the cringe and the designs and stuff like that, but I was pretty... I like to think I was pretty fair towards it. I gave it a good sh shot to, to impress me. I was shitting on Veil Feet. Yes, I was, and I I, I will... I, I still do. The fact that there are, like, three close zoom-ins on Veil's feet is pretty atrocious, considering she looks 13. Like, during your streams, it always felt like you were in pain. Maybe I disliked it more than I thought, Abundi. Maybe I maybe I did dislike it more than I thought. But at the end of the day, I can't really control how I feel about a game. You know? But yeah, you might be right. Maybe maybe I wasn't having fun, and maybe it, maybe it showed. The Lagoons of but I tried. I really like tried. You know I really these. tried, guys. I tried really hard to like Engage. You know I did. But at the end of the day, if I didn't like it, I don't think there was much I could have done about it. Oh yeah, we're gonna do memes. Don't worry. I know you guys have been probably been stockpiling a lot of memes in my absence. You were hating so much on the soul map. Yeah, I really I was. The soul arc is garbage. It really was bad. It's it's a shame because after the soul mark, the game picks up real good. Like chapter like when you get to the the burning windmill chapter and beyond. Engage actually becomes a lot of fun, but the soul mark is really boring. Uh, the map where you get the dancer, Sea Doll, like the map where you have to fight your way through those ruins. Oh, it's so tedious. Oh, terrible map. I get what they were trying to do, but it was not fun. And the the desert arc where the the water goes up and down, I hate that map. Oh, so tedious to play. And also the palace map is not fun. But after that, when, once you get to the Burning Windmill maps, and once you kind of get into the late game, Engage actually has a lot of really good maps. And shitting on the story is fair, not trying to defend it. Yeah! There are enemy dancers in Engage? I don't think so. No, I, that was on the Saga. Alright. Let us see. We are now on 3 1. Mm 
Mm -mm -mm. I really think it comes down to the character design, personally. I think the character designs were too were too were too messy and and glorified, and they look too much like VTubers. And I think it turned a lot of people, myself included, off. There are only a handful of good-looking characters in Engage, in my opinion. Citrine looks good. Gold Mary looks good. Um, Boucheron, even though he looks a little generic, does look pretty good. Um, but most of them just looks real bad. <laughs> okay, we got some, we got some funny memes here, guys. We got some good memes here, guys. We got some great memes. <laughs> okay, okay, well, this, this is gonna be a good meme review. <laughs> this is gonna be a great meme review, guys. Oh. All right, you guys ready for some memes? I know you've been missing this. It's probably the only reason that you tuned into my streams, honestly. All right. <laughs> You're as bald as the day I lost you. This is, um, Bethany actually showed me uh, these movies for the first time. I never, I never watched, I never watched How to Tame Your Dragon growing up. So Bethany actually introduced me, and this scene made me cry. This was so, like, when, um, what was the name of the dad again? Stoic. Stoic, yeah, when Stoic meets his wife again, and they fall in love, and they sing their little love song. That was adorable. Pro like, I cry, and I don't cry easily. You didn't have a childhood? Well, the, How to Tame Your Dragon was a little after my time, keep this in mind. But it's, it's they're great, though. Congratulations, now get back to Unicorn Overlord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I will. <laughs> Point of view, you are a Bjork. <laughs> we're, st we're still a little sick. So, if you hear Bethany laughing like 10 seconds after the memes come up, it's because she's watching the stream on her laptop. So, it takes her a little while for her to see it. That's great. Uh... I mean, yes, but I actually, I hate Camilla's outfit. So, not really. I think, I think Camilla's outfit is atrocious. I think there are ways they could have made Camilla, like, one of the best-looking females. They could have, like, I, I don't mind Camilla's proportions. I don't necessarily mind the cleavage. They just need to get rid of the panty window. And they need to get... They just give her full-plate armor, and she would have been gorgeous. You could have made her, like, a busty woman in full-plate armor, and it actually would have made her so much better. But the... But whatever they did for her is just not working. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm watching uh, Butter Call Saul with uh, Bethany at the moment. We're on season four. No spoilers. Los pollos hermanos. She's actually watching Breaking Bad. No, she's actually watching Better Call Saul before Breaking Bad. So it's a bit of an interesting thing, but I think it actually works. I personally think, um, I think uh, Better Call Saul is a better show, in my opinion. <laughs> oh no! I knew it. I never should have trusted him. <laughs> I never should have trusted him. Let's vote for games that Manx should play. The fourth anniversary of Transformers. I don't think I've ever played a Transformers game. Ever. I did watch the cartoon as a kid though. But I, I don't think I've ever... I think maybe I played a Transformer game on my Game Boy. That's about it. <laughs> the best Lance Pants! <laughs> 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 
the best lens. <laughs> Mango Dees. It wasn't quite how she wrote it. It was like Mango Dees. Mango Dees? Mango Dees. So. But almost, almost. What if Bethany married Mengs as a long con to take control of the channel so she can flex about it to Alfred, King of Wessex? Maybe. We will... When I die, you will know. <laughs> oh, you should have you should have given her the trad wife uh, face. That would have made it even better. New fire emblem. It's okay if a unit dies. We got turn wheels and casual mode to make it easier for you. Old fire emblem. Death is death. Ah, uh, bring back permadeath. Let's baptize these babies in the fires of hell. Therapist, gatekeeper's face isn't real. It can't hurt you. Gate Why is he so sad? I never seen him so sad. He was happy. Hello, boys. I'm back. All right. Let's see if there's any leftover memes that came in during meme review. I don't think so. Nope. I'll check my. I'll, I'll even check my spam folder to see if anyone. Uh, to see if anyone. Nope. I don't see any of you in here. So there we go. Those are the meme reviews. Al Baker donated five bucks. True super chat. Thank you for all the donations, guys. I appreciate it. As does my wife, I'm sure. And ironically, I wonder what happened to Intelligence Systems writing team after Talia's. Do we know whether they stayed on or if they were replaced? Um, no, they... So, the writing team for Awakening? So, um... The writing team... Many of the lead writers that worked on Heroes of Light and Shadow also worked on Awakening. The writer for Fates was a mangaka. Artists. And the writer for Engage is a woman. Some Japanese woman. Um, you can look her up. She's She almost does not have a... I, I tried, like, reading up on her. She has a very low digital pr footprint. She has, like, a Twitter account that is, like, inactive. And she has, like, one wiki page about her. There's one picture of her online. But she almost doesn't exist, which I think is actually more common in Japan. A lot of, a lot of people in Japan have very, like, low-key online presence. They don't like to have a lot of stuff. Uh, but, but, yeah, um... I don't know who they're hiring to write Modern Fire Emblem, but they need to stop whatever they're doing and get... I just think the reality is it's hard to be a good writer. It's hard to be a good writer. Um, or there's a lot of writers who think they're good, but they're not good. And you gotta find good ones. I'm trying to think, like, when was the last time we actually had good writing in Fire Emblem? I guess Tellius... Tellius had its problems, though. It's hard to write a good story. It is, it, and, and honestly, localizations, localizers are also to blame. They're, I think localizers have ruined our perception of a lot of modern Fire Emblem games. Fates in particular, I think, was really ruined by localization. But at the end of the day, I just don't think writing is a priority for a lot of people. I think they realize that most people don't really care that much about the story, and so they don't really put a lot of effort into it. Kitten smitten. Chat can relate. This is like, Gatra is like, oh, look at the cat girls, I want to bone the cat girls, and Shinan's like, you're disgusting. We don't, we don't crossbreed here in Tellius, Gatry. Um, alright, see? Ike Sorin. Titania Gatry. Mists Boyd. Rolf Shinan. Oh, I didn't support anyone with Oscar. Risk Mia. Poor Oscar didn't get a support. Alright, so do you guys think I should take Provoke off Shinan and put it on Gatry? I kind of like to do that. Uh, I'm trying to think. Miracle? Hmm. I like to do that. It just makes Gatry... It, make, it oh, makes it a lot easier for Gatry to tank. 
It doesn't really do that much, but it, it might divert a few attacks over. I might also put Vantage on someone. I might put Vantage on Ike, honestly. I feel like Mia doesn't really use it that well. Isn't Adept based on skill in this game? I believe so, yes. But my Soren has capped skill, so it's actually pretty good for him. Uh, you could put Vantage on Soren, honestly. Might, might actually not be that bad. Nah, I don't like Adept on Mia. It is based... Uh, I think it's skill in Path of Radiance and speed on Radiant Knot, so... <laughs> Alright, it's time for another map. I don't actually remember which. Is this the one where... Oh yeah, it's this one. Ah yes, the cat girl trick. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, this map. This map, okay, let's do a loss review again. Did I lose one of my attempts on this map? I don't remember. Yeah, you gotta route this map in 12 turns, I remember now. And uh, Ike, yeah, so we need to clear this map in 12 turns, and we need to keep Ike alive. That's the loss review. Will Dolphin crash for the Oh, is this one of the maps where Dolphin starts acting up on? It might be, actually. We will see, we will see. Right, don't visit that one house with Oscar, Boyd, and Rolf for Angelic Robe. This one? Yeah, that's right. If you visit it, you don't get the Angelic Robe, which is... You get a really good conversation, but aside from that... It's really weird, actually. Bum, bum, bum. That one time Dolphin crashed for me, Radio One, was the, was the last map cutscene where all the Lagoose trans- Yes! Yeah! Yeah, the Lagoose transformation can really destroy your, your CPU. This is true, actually. Ah, Soren, why can't you double? Yeah, you can put Shin on against the wall to true range enemies. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's actually not a bad idea at all. We can even help out a little bit with Rolf. We could put Rolf here, actually. <laughs> Rolf's bow! Oh my goodness. Why would anyone use this garbage? Soren can't even double a freaking armor knight. Well, the armor knights are actually pretty fast in Radiant Armor. Yeah, we get reinforcements from the southwest as well. Yeah, I, the emulator the emulator is actually acting up a little bit on this map. I think it's because of the torches. I'm not sure though. There's a sword master there. I gotta be careful with that guy. He might actually double Soren, so I might have to put someone in front of Soren. Um, maybe not with his speed though. Let's see. Let's see, this, sor this Swordmaster has 23 speed, my Soren has 20 speed, so he will actually not be doubled, but he might still get crit, though. I forgot about all the armor knights. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Uh oh. Oops. Hope Mia's gonna be okay. Wait, what are you doing? Oh my god, Left and Liar, what are you doing? Ooh, Rolf. 
Don't kill. Don't kill. Please don't kill. Thank you. Wait, is, isn't Rolf just gonna... <laughs> no, Rolf! No, Rolf! No, Rolf! No! <laughs> oh, Rolf. Rip and pepperoni. Nothing of value was lost. So that is the tenth death. We lost out on Rolf's bow, guys. The best item in the game. So sad. Oh, nice. Look at Gatry. Well, I guess we're never getting the triangle attack now. Yeah, it's sad. Okay, they're building up Lutz uh, Gage, though, so that's actually, actually pretty nice. <laughs> Alright, well... I guess it'll come down to... Uh, Sh Shinon and Gatry, then. Or Sh Shinon and Oscar. Yeah, I lost my horror to a Thunder Mage. It's kind of sad. Oh, that's a hammer. It's okay, though. It won't kill me. He'll miss. It's okay. Look at that. No problem. Do, 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 do. Do you get that hammer? I think you get it, right? Oh no, you don't get it. Ah, that's a shame. Okay, I gotta watch this guy's movement. Yeah, short spare. I'm not I'm not going anywhere close to that guy. Ah, Riss, if only you could hit stuff. That would be nice. Ooh. Yeah, no, no thank you, no thank you. The, the Joffrey chapter is gonna be hard? Yes, it is. I'm actually kind of, I'm worried about the Joffrey chapter, actually. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be interesting. Ooh, hopefully Titania's gonna be okay here. Oh yeah, she's fine. Do you prefer the goddess statue or Rolf's family drama? Don't really care about Rolf anymore because he's dead, so... Oh, check fire rhythm. There we go. I was, I was waiting for that. You guys haven't said it all stream. Oh. Uh, Sam Brown donated 499. Make sure you bring Shinon to endgame. The double bow is one of the best weapons in this game. One true tree range plus strength bonus. The Shinon is busted with it. I don't think I've ever used it. Sophia is still a good unit. Great to see you streaming in Manx, and even better to know Bethany became Miss Egglord. Now go focus and don't get Mikaya and Alinsha killed again. I'll try my best. Yamatoko donated six bucks to Super Chat. Welcome back, Egg. Even though I am late, could you rate my social credit score? Yes, I could. Uh, Vandal, another two bucks. Damn, Bethany's gonna put poison in Meg's mutton. I'm never gonna let her cook mutton for me. Alright, let's, um... Uh, let's see. Yamatoko. Well, I don't have the ability to pull it up right now, but... You have zero deleted messages, zero timeouts, and zero hides. So, Yamatoko, your social credit score is very good. You've been a good boy. Congratulations. Alright, I did not pay attention to anything that just happened now, so you guys are gonna have to let me know. Never gonna let her cook Fodicol or Pinish it for me. Actually, yeah, no, that, that, that's... I take that back. I take that back. I, my wife needs to, needs to know how to make Fodicol and Pinish it. It's actually mandatory to live in Norway, so...
Alright, Oscar's doing great. Alright, what do we gotta do here? Eh, this is actually going pretty well, all things considered. I got the Rissler right here. Smalahova. I've actually never tasted Smalahova. A sheep's head, by the way. And it's almost never eaten in Norway. Like, I think in certain... Maybe, like, in certain places you might see it, but it's not really a thing that we eat. It's a big meme. Alright, Ike. Oh my goodness, a transferred Ike is an absolute joy. Yes, I will continue Unicorn Overlord. I will play Radiant Dawn tonight. Um, I will play Corn Quest on Sunday, and then I'll probably stream Unicorn Overlord either on Tuesday or I'll start streaming Unicorn Overlords on Sundays because I'll be done with Corn Quest, so. Soren, why can you not double a general? <coughs> Alright, the kill goes to Gatri. Are the servers not down yet? No, they go down on the 8th, so we have a little bit of time. Ooh, I kind of want to do this, but I also kind of don't. Let's do it. 38% chance to get hit. Don't get hit, Titania. Haha. <laughs> yeah, the servers go down on the 8th, so the, the Sunday's the 7th, so... I will have time to finish Quarren Quest. I probably only need one more stream to finish it, so I should be fine. Oscar is in danger? I don't think he is. That crossbow guy is not going to do any damage, I think. Oh, seven damage. He can actually crit. <gasps> was she countered at range? What? I don't know. I thought counter was melee only. How does that even work? Does she, like... Catch the bolt and throw it back at him? That's funny. That's funny. Solar eclipse across Texas in on the 8th too. Oh, that's ominous. Revelation goes down. Solar eclipse happens. Coincidence? I think not. Okay, Oscar's in trouble. Uh-oh. Uh, Oscar's in trouble, guys. Uh-oh. Oscar's in trouble. Oscar's in trouble, guys. He's not in trouble. I knew that. Get him, Shannon. Kill him with the power of racism. Let's go. He did not get a crit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oscar's in danger. Is that a kill? Is that a kill? Is that a kill? Oh! No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! No! Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Woo! Oh, we got some... We got some friends! Okay, that was terrifying. Whew! Get him, Shannon. Oh, we got enemies from the back? Yeah, I'll, I'll... I'll try to pay attention to that. Remember to visit the house? I will, I will. Alright, so we're in turn 4 out of 12, so we're still pretty good. Alright, the Rissler can take out his armor knight, that's good. We've got company! Uh, were there really enemies coming in from behind? I didn't see any, but... Can Mia do damage to the sky? She can, actually. If I get a crit here, maybe Boyd can finish the job. Mengs, did you admire her like Bjarki said? Throw her from a boat and she has to swim back? Nah, I wish. Um, nah. It was pretty a pretty traditional wedding, all things considered. No no throwing Bethany off a boat. That'll come later. 
They spawn in the fog. I don't... I think you hear them coming in. I didn't see anything. I don't think they've come in yet. All right, Boyd, level up. Let's go. Strength and defense. Okay. All right. How many kids do you and Bethany have plan on having? As many as God will give us. We will see. And, you know, we need to afford buying food for them and stuff. So, <laughs> donate. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Generally speaking, I'm opposed to having just one kid. I, I, I have a... Uh, I think every child deserves a sibling. Like, no, I'm not throwing shade on the only childs in chat, but I think, I think, generally speaking, every child deserves a sibling growing up. I, I think it just makes them, I, I think it makes children more social. It's good to have a sibling. Even if you fight a lot, it's still good to have. So, you're either gonna, e either have one, like, either have two plus children or zero. Like, ooh, Soren got speed, nice. Okay. That's not true, actually. You should, you should, if you have the choice between one child and no children, you should still have one child. But generally speaking, I think if you have one kid, you should have another. It's just better for the kid, I think. Can you double armor now? I don't know, actually. Armor knights are still pretty fast. What names did you think about for your kids? We have talked a little bit about names. Um, you know, we've talked about the possibility of haha -ha Fire Emblem name. Um, if I pick a name, there is like one requirement, and that's the fact that uh, I want both Norwegians and Americans to be able to pronounce it. This is why we have considered if we have a daughter to name her Elise, because Bethany really likes the name Elise, and Elise works in Norway in Norwegian too, because it's Elisa. So it needs to be a name that both Americans and Norwegian can say. Magnus is not a good name for Americans. Bethany's grandfather calls me Mangus. It's pretty adorable. Hey, hey, Mangus. Mangus. Come here, Mangus. Mangus. I, I At this point, he said it so much that I don't want to correct him. There you go. Oh, shit. I hope he doesn't get hit here. Uh-oh. That's okay. Shit on his tanky. Among Us? Yeah, it kind of sounds... Oh, there's the boss. Ooh, he's got a killer lance. Oh, my God. Look how fat this guy is. I never realized how ugly this guy is. My goodness. Look at, the, look at this guy. He looks like an incel. Oh, <laughs> Tellius has fallen. Millions must die. <laughs> look at this guy. I don't know, I never realized how, how ugly he looked. <laughs> Look who's talking! Ooh! Ooh, savage. Savage. Alright, let's see here. I can go and take out this mate. Ooh, that's a lot of damage, actually. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, so I think we we need to visit this house now. So I think we'll go and do that. A subhuman dude. It's Soren. Uh, who do we give this rope to? I actually don't know. Um, do 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 do. Shovel a little bit. There we go. Isn't there also a guy in the lower right? Ah, uh, there might be actually. I probably should. I probably should take a look at that. Oh, hello there, horse slayer. I did not. Oh shit. I did not see that. I need to get out of here right now. I did not realize there was a horse slayer there. No, no, no. I think I knocked him into heal mode now, so you should probably go back and heal. Oh, there's another guy right there. Oh, liar, you're so garbage. 
PH just like I love how people see one horse slayer and they're immediately like PH Ooh, get him. Liar does not have potential. Liar is the worst unit in Radiant Dawn. Even when trained, she's dog shit. I guess you sh I should call her cat shit. She is terrible. Ooh, the boss will actually attack Oscar now. I hope I'm okay. Never mind. Goodbye, Rhythm. Comes to the rescue. V is still mind broken by Andron Saga, yeah. What a douche move. Oh! It's okay, though. She doesn't die here. Uh, she just retreats. Oh, Jesus, can you stop getting hit so much, Oscar? Manx, I'm going to GM a Fire Emblem X D D session and it tips, hey, that's what I was going to do, Hanako. Find your own ideas. My goodness. Um, well, um, you're going to DM a Fire Emblem session. Well, okay, so you're stealing my ideas. That's okay, though. Um, any tips? It's a very broad question. I mean, I guess... Um, don't railroad. Let your players have fun. If they go off script and they do stuff you don't expect, let them do it. You don't you don't need to control the session. If they decide to go in a completely different direction, just improvise and have fun. Try to learn the rules so you don't end up looking up the book. Um, because no one likes a DM that is like reading all the time. Have fun and don't take yourself too seriously. How are you gonna DM the Hanako? You never speak. <laughs> Kanako is like, whenever she hangs out in the group chats of like the Alman and Saga Discord, she just sits there with her mic muted and, and chats. Occasionally she'll talk, but she's like super shy. How are you gonna DM Hanako? You're gonna you're gonna need to get more comfortable. Sorry, it's true. Okay, I would be nice to Hanako, but she's very she's she's always so rambunctious and rude to me, so she deserves it. I don't- Oh, you're gonna do it IRL? Okay, I thought it was like a Discord session. Okay, alright. Alright, okay, well. Good best of luck to you, then. Yeah, so, I also play with pen and paper and dice, but I did join one of Davis G's sessions on Discord, and I was actually pleasantly surprised by how cool it was. Like, when you do things online, there's a lot of stuff that goes by a lot quicker, like the maps that you play on and the dice rolls is, like, automated by a program. So, it goes by a lot quicker compared to pen and paper. Generally speaking, I think that nothing really beats the being around a table, being there physically. I think that really is best for immersion. But I'm a lot more positive towards uh, Discord D&D than I was previously. Oh, you are so dead liar. Oh my goodness. Yes, I played a dwarf bard named Brassius Blasthorn with a tuba. I love playing bards. Bard's like my favorite class. Which chapter is your favorite story-wise? Like in Radiant Dawn? Probably Alentia's Gambit, I'd like to say. All right, Oscar level up, let's go. He got speed! 24 speed Oscar, let's go. Can't you direct yellow units? You can, I just don't care about them. All right, here comes the boss. Doesn't he have a kill lance? Okay, we're good. Do I need to route the enemy before turn 12? I actually don't remember. Uh, I do think I need to route the enemy before turn 12, so let's bring Titania over here. Ooh, nice. I would like to go and heal Boyd here, but Mist is so damn... Ooh, I'm not a big fan of that, actually. I think I'll just wait. Ooh, let's go. There are quite a lot of them. Boyd might die. He might. He might. Oh, Gatry, please. No, Gatry, what are you doing? 
Uh, we need to shove, actually. We cannot shove. Wait, actually, I think we can. Okay, listen. <laughs> look at the shove chain right here. Fuck. <laughs> that was the worst shove ever. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, I really don't want to lose him. I think Gatry will be okay. Oscar will be fine, too. Ooh, let's go! But you do have to route, I think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Seven percent crit. Oh, Boyd, why is your luck so garbo? Ooh. Ooh, that's the Swordmaster. That's the Swordmaster. He's dead. Oh, what the? No! Come on! Damn, he got crit. He got crit. What the hell? Okay, this is actually getting a little nasty. I don't like this. Uh, don't die, Gatry, please. Okay, he's good. Okay, we got him. I lost two out of three brothers in one chapter. That's pretty bad. Skill defense resistance. 27 defense Gatry. Let's go. Uh, okay, we got four turns to kill these guys. Um, I think we need to back off a little bit. We can probably do like a hit and run here, I think. Yeah, we can. Thanks, Meg is my favorite. I never played Telis before, but I love Meg for the image of a round, rotund woman juggernauting through armies. I mean, Meg is a joke unit, and people like to train her because she's silly. I get the appeal of Meg, I really do. I just don't like training her on hard mode. It's just too much of a hassle, personally. Alright, please double, Soren. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Why can't you never double? This is why you check my rhythm. Yep, my bad. How are you so bad with the Grail Mercenaries? I'm a little out of shape. I haven't played Fire Emblem in a while. Oof. Doesn't this... Yeah, he does have a speed transfer, and he got a speed level up. Doesn't matter. Enemies in Radiant Dawn are just too fast. Don't be a smart ass, Sultan Harden. I see you there. I see you there. Alright, I think there is a unit here. No. Uh... I don't remember if there's any units here, but I really don't want to send Ike forward. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I think Mist is dead. She's probably gonna get doubled. Oh! Let's go! She doesn't get doubled. She dodged, though. I think those are the last two enemies. But in this chapter, you can never really know, which is kind of annoying. Yeah. Sometimes, like, enemies can hide in the corners and stuff, and it's really annoying. Yeah, I think those are the last two enemies, so. I think Mist has more speed than Riss. Yeah, she has 16, I think. But that still means she can get doubled by some units, so. I think she has 16 speed. Yeah, she has 16. I'm not gonna risk that crit. Sorry, I'm not. Ugh, these hit rates, man. These hit rates. Maybe Soren can one shot? Ah! Never mind. Alright, I think this should be it. Yeah, Riz has 14 base speed. He is the slowest guy 
in the universe. It's so infuriating. Oh my god, let's, let's attack with mist just for fun. <laughs> there you go, guys. Best unit in the game right here. Bonk. He gets doubled by armor knights. Yeah, this mofo gets doubled by armor knights. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we cleared the chapter. Only two deaths. And we got actually a pretty decent amount of bonus experience this time around. It's pretty good. I think I got one chapter left in me. I don't want to stream super late tonight, because again, I am very out of shape. I can feel myself getting very tired. Like, when you haven't streamed for like three or four weeks, like, you, you definitely feel very rusty. You gotta kind of get back into the shape of things. As long as I don't feel the Iron Man, though, I'm gonna be good. I noticed that Mist used fighter animations. Her model looks so giant. Yeah, she uses the fighter. Yeah, she's a reskin fighter. It's really dumb. All right, we get the item shop back. Oh, this is the, okay. This is the chapter where you get the silver card. So, you want to make sure that you buy a lot of hand axes and javelins with this thing. Now, I'm not entirely sure, but I think. Yeah. Okay. So I think the the silver card applies to. Do you have to physically hold it in your? I don't. I think you gotta physically hold it in your inventory, right, to get the discount. Did you think bring anything from the Thunder? No, I didn't. I did not bring anything from Ilion. I did actually imbue. Oh, I brought a hammer. I brought a hammer, actually, and some hand axes. That's cool. <sighs> All right, that's cool actually. Um. Yeah, that, that hammer will actually be very useful. And the imbue, I don't know if anyone from the Grell Mercenaries can really use it. Make sure you sell the silver card before leaving the base. Yeah, I will. So yeah, you, now you get half price, which is really nice. So, I think I have a blue gem that I can sell. There you go. All right, so let's see. Does anyone here benefit from imbue? What's Titania's magic? Titania actually has 10 magic. Titania actually has... Oh! I get Brom back! Let's go! Let's go! Oh! Yes! The best unit right here. Check out this guy. Oh my god, I'm hiccuping. My goodness. Sweetie! Oh, she can't hear me. 28 defense, this is great. I was gonna get ask my wife to get me a Pepsi. But she can't hear me. Feels bad, man. Yeah, this is a great one. And we get Nephany back as well. My Nephany is actually leveling up really well. Look at her. So, she's actually doing pretty well. And she's supported with Rob too. I think they have an A support, so... This is really nice. Uh, anyone else? No, I think that's it. Oh, you guys want to do meme review? We can do meme review. I'll see how many memes there are. If there's just a few, then I'll save meme review for the end of the stream. Uh, there are, at the moment, there are, let's see how many memes are there. Oh, there's a few. Okay, we can do a, we can do a short meme review. Heather? Yeah, you guys keep saying Heather's gonna rejoin, but I don't see her in my party yet. That's actually really adorable. What the hell? That's adorable. Oh my god, her hands are positioned exactly the same. That's actually freaky. Sweetie, look. Isn't that adorable? Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> Oh, 
This is my neighbor engaged. He's a real pain in my butt. I got a dragon avatar. He gets a dragon avatar. My story is frowned upon. His story is frowned upon. I still get played. He doesn't pick success. <laughs> Kill him with the power of racism. <laughs> That's great. That's really good. Okay, those are all the memes we have today. We'll do one last meme review at the end of the stream. Oh, that's great. All right, so uh, who gets the Seraph robe? Uh, I'm thinking... There's a few few, few units we can give the Seraph robe to. We can give it to Nephany to keep her alive. We could give it to Ike. I don't think that's needed, though. He's so tanky. Uh, we can give it to Riss to keep him alive. He has 20, but he might, he's probably gonna die anyway. Um, you know what? We'll let democracy decide. Uh, Sam Brown, donor at 499 to Super Chat. Don't forget to check the game over condition at the start of every chapter. Thank you, I will do that. You know what? You guys can decide. Who gets Robe? Uh, Soren. Riss, Mists, uh, Nephany. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and... Looks like it's Nephany. And remember, guys, if you like the stream, I'm very grateful. Um, I know it's it's tedious to like your videos all the time, but it does really help. Uh, let's see. All right, Nephany, it is done. There you go. Now, uh, Nephany, maybe I'll give her imbue. Soren can't use it. Who has the highest magic stat out of all the Grail mercenaries? Uh, looks like Titania? Alright, Titania it is then. Alright, let's see if we can support up some more guys. Soren cannot, he cannot be strengthened. Uh, we have Titania Gatry. Uh, Mists can support with no one. The Aris cannot improve. Oh, Nephany and Rob have a B support, not an A support. We gotta work on that. Alright, let's do some shopping with Ike. Uh, let's do... Uh, so yeah, we have the... We need, we're, we need to get some Javelins. Five javelins, I think. Like you want to, this is like the one chapter where you can buy a lot of them. So you want to make sure that you do get a lot of them while you can. Like I'd say, like ten hand axes. Like you go through so many javelins. There we go. And we got a forge. Of course, we got a forge. Um. I don't think we need anything else, honestly. I think we're good. Congrats on the marriage. Here's hoping for a long and happy life together. Thank you. Get some wind edges too? I can get a few, I guess. Not, not, I don't really need a lot though. But yeah, they, they can be nice to have for like Mia and Riss. <laughs> Did I just say Mia and Riss? Uh, can you buy a Worm Slayer here? Let's take a look. Yeah, probably a few men states as well. It's probably not a bad idea. Eh, the Worm Slayer. I mean, I guess it is hot price. But now I don't have any money for forging. I guess, no, I can't. Because I, forging doesn't affect... Um, forging doesn't affect the uh, silver card. So we can just sell the silver card, right? Yeah, we can do that. 
All right, what should we forge, though? That's a big question. Uh, how was America? Great. The, the weather was lovely. It was pretty cool April, so it was like Norwegian summer. It was very nice. All right, guys, what should we forge? Um, lance or sword? Um, I'd say maybe a lance. Steel lance. Oh wow, we do not have a lot of money. Sword from Mia, maybe? I don't know. Maybe we should just sell the Wu Daos. They fucking suck. <laughs> like, seriously. Who needs the Wu Daos? You're so bad. Sword for Mists. Maybe a Steel Sword for Mia. If we are going to use her, then maybe it's not such a bad idea. Well, let's, let's, let's do a Sword for Mia. Forge her a pink sword. Alright, let's use a coin. You can only forge one item. And that's a plus 10 hit. Okay. It's okay. Alright, what should we call? Okay, uh, if you say armpit, I will be mad, chat. No armpit sword. Alright, let's, let's play the forge game. You guys know how it goes. No armpit sword. No, no. I need a new forge game thing. Ah, here we go. All right, here we go. Oh shit, that's very, very. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Nope. No. 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 All right. Here we go. Alright, five, four, three, two, one. XCOM, okay. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, we have a forge for me on our guys. Will you guys stop simping now? XCOM 3 went. I would love XCOM 3. Honestly, I'm a little low on... Uh, I should, probably should have bought some bone rares, honestly. I feel like uh, Oscar, Oscar probably needs the uh, bone rare more than Shinon. Or sorry, Titania might need it more. And uh, Oscar needs the Vulnerary more than, than Mists. And Mists needs a mend. Who died this stream? Uh, I lost Rolf and Boyd, both the brothers. And I don't know why Riss has a concoction, doesn't really make any sense to me. So let's give that to someone who needs it more. Because the healers heal themselves anyway. Can give the Worm Slayer to Braum. Actually, the Worm Slayer is probably better on Mia. I will give it to Braum. Am I really going to use Ileana? I don't think so. I think I'll just bench her. There's no point. Yeah, I should have more coins because I, I didn't... Um, I don't remember how we transfer coins. I've done manual transfers, so I don't know how I'm gonna get the coins from my save file in. We'll see. We'll see if we can do something about it. 
Mia really should get Adept. I think it's better on Soren at the moment, because my Soren can actually fight. Alright guys, I am excited to see if you guys are right about Heather joining. Let's see if you're right. I have never... I, I, I don't think she does. I have never heard anything about Heather joining if you don't recruit her in 3P or in, uh, in, in Part 2. Let's see if you guys are right or not. I don't see Heather, guys. I think you guys are shitting, shitting on me. I think you guys are shitting. I don't see Heather. I think you guys are coping. I think you guys are coping. And no, I am not. To be fair, Ileana can sometimes chip. I, mean, I guess I can use her as a shove bot. I guess we can give her a Thunder Tome. She might be able to do some chip damage to a Viber. <laughs> Alright. Heather? Nope. No Heather. No Heather, guys. You guys were wrong. There is no Heather to be found here. I did sell the silver card. So the the sil sliver card. I did sell the silver card. Yes, I did. Oh, look at this! Ah, it feels good to have a good Robin Nephany in Act Three, especially considering I don't have a horror. It's uh, actually pretty nice. That's gonna hurt. P three has a lot of stuff. Yeah, Heather can steal in, in Part Three. This is true. Yep, this is true. It kind of sucks, but... Oh well, what can you do? Is it me? Oh, I didn't put javelins on Gatry, really? Is it me, or does the quality of the game look worse? Uh... Ah... Uh, it might just be that I'm playing with Grin on? How do... Does it look better now? I think, uh, did I really not put a javelin on Oscar? That is kind of annoying. Well, Gatry has a hand axe, so I guess that'll that'll have to do for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, so what? Maybe you have bad internets and YouTube is downgrading your internets, and that's you're watching this in like 250. 240p. That sometimes happens if you have bad connection. YouTube downgrades your stream. So that might be why you think... I don't think my quality is any worse than any other streams. I'm, I'm streaming in, like, in as high quality as I can. Kind of better, but it's just the map looks really bad. Yeah, maybe. It might just be the way the map looks. I'm not really sure. Okay, did I maybe go a little bit too hard with Mia? We'll see. I think we're good. Mia is very dodgy. Congrats on your marriage. Thank you, my man. <laughs> Provoke for the win. Let's go. Provoke for the win. I think I will send Braum and Nephany to the right to deal with all the calves. Okay, let's go. Ike level up. He got magic. Let's go imbue Ike. Usually I just like Har solo the right side, but since I don't have Har, I think maybe Brahman Nephany might be... Oh! Sword is finally doubling. Let's go. Magic Ike. Let's go. Let's go! I'm so happy he's finally doubling. Took him long enough? My goodness. Yeah, I think we will let we will let uh we will let Brom and Nephany carry the side, I think. Uh we actually probably should get Soren out of there. He is a little frail. 
So I think what we will do is we will... Oh my god, it is li actually lagging a little bit. I wonder if this map may, be not, may not be as optimized as I thought. I sold my Wudos. I sold them for money because they're that bad. Alright, let's go. Hit points, strength, skill. Okay, strength on Mia is very good. So this is actually fantastic. Do anyone know? Yeah, okay, so supports do count when a, when a unit is rescued. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. That is actually pretty nice. Yes, Kami, we know. We know. We know, Kami. We know. Alright. Let's drop Soren off. I think Robin Effany can probably handle that entire right hand side. But yeah, I am actually lagging a little bit on this map. I'm not sure why. It might just be the way the map is structured. Alright, I got some donations. Let me read them out. So, uh, jo Jinus donated 100 ARS. I have no idea what that... He donated 100 Rs? That's funny. Uh, man, I love your videos. Thank you. Thanks to you, I have finished Tracer 776. Greetings from Argentina. Hi there. I visited Argentina once. I was in Buenos Aires. Beautiful city. Great food. Oh, shit. Mist got attacked. Holy shit. Let's go, Nephony level. Hit points. Speed, luck, and resistance. My girl's got 26 speed right now. This is a strong duo right here. Very strong duo. I visited Argentina once, then forgot all about their currency. Uh, Argentinian pesos? I, I, don't, I don't remember the currency. One of Nephany's stats are capped. Uh, yeah, she's capped rest. What the hell? What? Is this normal? Does she normally cap cap rest? Argentina dollars. Yes, that's what we call them. It's normal. Okay, okay. So she always does this. Get him, Shannon. Kill him. Yes. Mm, racism shot. Skill and speed, let's go. Alright, let's... Oh, that Vibrant is probably killing. 18 speed, is he gonna kill Riss? No. But he might kill Mist, so I need to be careful. Let's get Ileana out of here. Are there any other enemies here? There, there's going to be a bunch of Vyverns coming in later that I need to be careful about. Race. <laughs> I just, I just like to say racism every time shit on attacks. Uh, all right. Titania and Gatry, do your thing. I've never tried supporting Titania and Gatry before. I wonder if it's a good combo. We'll see if it is or not. Wasn't Soren also racist? Soren is equally racist towards... Soren isn't necessarily racist, he's just very suspicious. He is kinda racist, like when he meets... Like, but the thing about Soren is he's half Lagoose himself. Uh, so he's kind of racist towards himself. 
Is Sorin is just rude to everyone. I, I don't think he's like, Shinon is legitimately racist. He's like Lagus or subhuman. Uh, Sorin also calls them subhuman, but the thing is Sorin insults anyone who gets within 10 feet of him. So I think it's equal to say that Sorin hates everyone equally. It's just that whenever he meets Lagoose, he uses the racist language to insult them. But if a, if a human gets within 10 feet of Sorin, he'll insult the human as well. So I think he just hates everything. So can you truly call him a racist if he hates everyone equally? Yeah, he's kind of like PH. He's just a dick to everyone, you know? PH just hates happiness. Soren hates Mikaya. He might be the only person in the game who does, actually. Lagoose treat Brandon way worse. They do, actually. They're awful to them. Alright, so we're gonna get a bunch of Wyverns coming in at some points. bunch of Viverns. Did I give the Worm Slayer to Braum? I think I did. Ooh, that's actually a shame. I'm gonna go and get that real quick, because uh, the Worm Slayer, that, that is actually a golden opportunity to give me a lot of kills. Because we're gonna get, like, a bunch of Viverns coming in from the south. I remember. I don't remember when they show up, I just know that they do. When was I ever a dick to anyone? PH, it just, just might be how you are. But you do come off as a lick to everyone. I still like you. I don't know why, I do. But you do come off as a dick to everyone. It might just be your French nature, I don't know. Oh, are they paladins? I seem to remember they are vibrants. Maybe I'm wrong. Hey, look at the, look at the, look at the renewal. That's great. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and get the, uh, wait. Or do the Vibrants come from the north? I actually don't remember. There are Vibrants here, actually. Maybe I'll just, uh, maybe I'll just let Braum keep that. I'll let him keep it. Look at their chat, everyone loves me, especially their mothers. Yes, PH, you are very popular. Can't think of anyone more popular than you, actually. Alright, let's see. Brom. Ow. Why are Armor Knights so fast? Oh, that's right. He has the Disarm combo. Okay, where's Heather, guys? I don't see Heather. You guys told me I would get Heather this chapter. Where is she? I don't see her anywhere. You guys lied to me. I will never trust chat again. Yeah, where is she? Now, we don't want to pull the boss right away, because I do want to work a little bit on... I don't remember if he starts moving at some point. Uh, there he is. Istan. This guy looks so Russian. Look at this guy. Uh, he's got... Uh, nine move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, yeah, we don't want to pull him right away. He moves when you go within this range. Yeah, I know. Oh, let's go, Worm Slayer Brom! Are you guys ready for a massacre? Oh, he almost one shots! He almost one shots, let's go. Sweetie. You be a dare. Wow, he brought them down to 1 HP. 
Yeah, the slowest walk. Okay, yeah, so a bunch of Cavaliers are coming in from the north. Am I wrong? I seem to recall a bunch of Wyverns. Am I misremembering this? I wish our armor knights would run. Well, I mean, they are wearing heavy armor. As soon as you pull the boss. Okay. So you're saying I can take my time here? Because I really would like to build up some supports. If I, I seem to recall him moving at some point, but I don't know if I'm wrong about that. Maybe I am. But yeah, I can chill around here. It's fine. Go get a mic. How big is this radiant dog map? This map is not that big. It seems bigger than it is, but it's actually pretty pretty small. It doesn't take that long. Oh, thank you, sir. Bethany and I both got sick on our honeymoon. Real sick. And uh, I we're still not completely recovered. It's take a, taken a long time. We don't know what we caught, but it's been real nasty. It's been sneezing and coughing for like a week. Oh damn. Reinforcements, ladies and gentlemen. It could be the flu, maybe, but the flu is usually not that slow to leave. It still like egg is pregnant? Yeah. I mean, it is 2024. Men can get pregnant now. Let's see. Maybe it's diabetes this year in America. Maybe. I mean, my goodness, we have eaten a lot of good food. We went to, on my birth well, not on my birthday, but we celebrated my birthday by going to Longhorn with uh, Bethany's dad and her sister. And uh, I had already eaten lunch with Bethany and a friend of hers. So I was already kind of full, but Bethany's dad was like, let's go to Longhorn. And I was like, I'm not going to say no to Longhorn because I love Longhorn Steakhouse. It's, I love, the I think their steaks are some of the best in the world, personally. And, uh... So I arrive at Longhorn already pretty full, and I order a massive steak, the Longhorn Special, which is like a 600 gram steak with fries. And I'm just barely able to finish it, and I feel so incredibly full. And then Bethany's dad tells the staff that it's my birthday. You know what happens at Longhorn when they tell you it's your birthday? They bring out a massive sundae for dessert on the house. Now, I was already bursting at this point. Like, I had difficulties, like, getting up. But you don't just turn down a free sundae. So I ate the whole thing. On the way back, I thought I was going to die. Bethany looked at me like I was the dumbest husband in the world. She's like, why'd you eat it? Why'd you eat it? Why'd you do that? What was I supposed to do? Not eat it? I thought I was going to die. I thought I was actually going to die. It was awful. But it was totally worth it. The Sunday was delicious. I'd do it again. Alright. I hope Nephany and Braum will be okay here. They're going to deal... They're going to take on a lot of enemies here. Most of them seem to want to go for Nephany. Oh. Oh! They're sea... Oh! Okay. Forgot that guy had siege tomes. I once tried to eat couscous. Why would why would you do that? Can you show your ring? Yeah, I can. Um, I can give you guys a close up of my ring. It's really pretty. It kind of looks like the one ring. It has wood on it, with the gold, so it kind of gives it a bit of a, like, a viking feel. 
Sorry, I can't get my camera to focus properly. Oh, there we go. It's a thick ring. It's a really thick ring. I love it. It's great. And I also got this bracelet for at the wedding. Kind of cool. It's really nice. Yes, this ring will summon Emblem Manx. Actually, I guess it would make sense for it to summon Emblem Bethany. Because it is my wedding ring, so... Alright, I think Brom and Nephany are fine. Are they all going for Nephany? Yeah, they are. Oh shit, she's gonna run out of javelins. Uh-oh. That's not good. When's the we uh, wedding video? Um, when I get the footage for it, I need to edit it. Shouldn't be that long. Magic skill speed, 27 speed is that- Oh, my girl capped speed. Look at that, look at that. I can give her bonus experience now. <laughs> Mengs, have you ever had a situation where you were asked to wear a wig? Uh, no. That has never occurred to me, no. Maybe I'll send Oscar up here to help a little bit. We'll see. I would pay for Manx to wear a Sephiroth wig. PH, you send it to Norway, I'll wear it for a stream. With a katana. Well, Nefne's gonna run out of javelins very soon. Well, if Nephany and Braum does not get an ace support at the end of this, then I don't know. Now they're going for Brahms. That's kind of weird. Why are they going for Braum? I guess it's because Nephany has a javelin? Or maybe it's because she doubles? It's probably because she doubles, actually. Wow, we are not able to kill them. But that means more experience for us, so that's actually not a bad thing. Ah, there we go. Javelin broke. Manx, how much do you lift? Uh, my personal max for bench press is, uh, I need to do, sorry, I need to do calculations. My personal best for bench press is 297 pounds, which I'm very proud of. We don't talk about my squat. We don't need to talk about my squat. Mm. Alright, got three level up, let's go! Hit points, skill, speed, and defense. My goodness, my gatry is insane. Oh, <laughs> cap strength and speed. Whoa, look at this guy. Look at this guy. That's 135 kilograms for your Europeans. All right, let's finish off some of these calves. And a Braum level up, let's go! Hey, points. Skill, luck, defense, let's go! Braum is gonna cap his defense in one level. Well, keep in mind, I'm a very big guy, so... I, I will naturally bench a lot. Size does matter quite a lot. Like, your physical frame is very, very important when you lift. Hmm. I don't really know who I'm going to support Mist up with anymore. Uh, considering I lost Boyd. Shinon also kind of needs a partner. I'm not really sure who. Oh shit, I forgot this guy still has a Siege Tone. Oops. If Gatry was a swordmaster in this game, he would be a monster. Yeah, with that defense? Sure.
Pop, 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 pop. Still don't see a Heather, guys. Where's my Heather? Hmm. So, Mia Riss, Ike Soren, uh, Miss Shinon? I really don't know, guys. <laughs> Heather joins you in New Game Plus. You guys are just lying to me about Heather. I'll never see her again. I don't know, a lot of people told me, though, that she joins you in, like, 3-3. So, I don't know, maybe there's something you can do to get her. But if there is, I don't know what. Uh, should we do Mist Shinon, maybe? I don't know. I feel like I should support him with someone. But we can continue the Ike and Soren support, at least. And then the... Rismia support. Ileana doesn't get a support partner for now. I think they are confused. 3-2 is when she comes back after part 2. Oh, okay. I think I know the confusion. Yeah, they, Heather comes back in chapter 3-2 if she is alive. That's probably what they thought would happen. But if you lose her, she never comes back. Yeah. So people are just... Oh, let's go, Oscar. So yeah, I think people are just misunderstanding what's going on here. Because I never recruited Heather. She escaped. She didn't die. Alright, time to build some supports. I don't know what to do with... Maybe I should do Oscar Mists. Hmm. Oscar Mist might help Mist survive? Maybe? Chat when they spread... Oh, chat loves spreading misinformation. Oh, Nephany better not die now. Uh, hello? Okay, we're good. I'm not misunderstanding, I'm blatantly lying. Well, I'm glad you're honest. Maybe I should do Oscar Mists to give Mists some avoidance. Shinon probably, maybe I'll do Shinon Iliana, I don't know. I'm never using Iliana though. Mist and Sorin. No, I'm doing Ike Sorin, so that's not gonna happen. Ah, sure. We'll do Oscar Mists. That probably works. I probably should have done Oscar Titania, to be honest, but it's fine. It's done now. Ike Sorin is too good. I, I, I really think they work well together, and they have a bond support due to my transfer, so they're even stronger when they're together. Will you buy all the physical Fire Emblem games in the future? I kind of want a physical Fire Emblem collection. I've always been really bad at collecting things. I'm just not a collector. I tend to, like, lose it. Um, but when Bethany and I get a bigger house, maybe maybe once we own a house and we stop being rentoids, I would like to have a physical Fire Emblem collection in the background of my recording setup. I think that would look good, and I would like to collect every single Fire Emblem game. So maybe, maybe. All right, let's just uh, grind some supports. Should be able to get the A support pretty quickly. I I have the Palverse, no Palver Radiance. Yeah, I might. When I when we eventually get our own big house. No, I don't own a house yet. I mean, who owns a house at this point? But. I might, in the future. Because I will inherit from my grandmother, so... At some point, I'm, I'm hoping by the time I'm 40, I will own a house. You know, I know that our boomer parents were able to deliver newspapers for a whole summer and buy, buy their first house. We are not so lucky. Yeah, owning a house today is hard. And it, it's gonna keep getting harder and harder and harder. No, you don't need a home, but it is nice. It's nice to own something. 
and not just rent from some landlord. You need an only birds account. Only eggs. Alright, so I think once we pull the boss, right, we will get... Um, once we pull the boss... Uh, maybe we'll bring Brahma Nephany down. Yeah, everything just keeps getting more expensive, man. It's kind of annoying, but that's how it is. Build your own wooden house? I would love to build my own house. I watched a tutorial on how to build a sauna in the woods, and that really resonated with my inner caveman. It looked so much fun, even though it took him like a year. We rent at a higher price than our boomer parents per month. Yep, it is true, PH, it is true. Boomer's gonna boom. Ugh. 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 Soren. Stop being lost in your books, please. Yeah, I forget that Soren is still pretty frail. I hope I have a concoction on him. I think I do. I don't think there's any more two range enemies that can attack Soren. I hope not. Oh my god, okay. Maybe it was a bit, a bit ambitious of me to think that I can Soren could solo this entire side. I really thought they could, though. Alright. Problem now, now the boss is in range. Okay, yeah, here we go. I remember these guys. Uh, this is actually pretty bad. Um, ooh. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this. Not a big fan at all. Um, I think as long as I kill the bosses, he has a short axe. But he will not one shot Soren, but I don't have a concoction on Soren, so. Do I have a physic? No. This is actually pretty bad. Um,. This is actually pretty bad. I guess I'll put him in the thicket? I mean, it's the best thing I can do in this point, right? I can only hope that they go for Ike. The Ten of Void is, might help, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I might lose Soren. If he dies, he dies. Nothing I can do about it. Manx, you're bad at Fire Emblem. I know. <coughs> Maybe I can, like... Maybe I can make him go for Brom or Nephany. Maybe. Or maybe I can trick him into going for a Liana. <coughs> Alright, he goes for Ike. Don't hit, please. Okay, this is good. I think I might be okay now. Huh. Oh wow, okay, he goes for Gatry. <laughs> My goodness. Ah. Hey, it worked! He went for Nephany. Ah. I gotta go blow my nose, sorry guys.
died? Did anyone die? Anyone died? Yeah, sorry, I just had to go to the bathroom to do a line of cocaine. You know how it is. When you're a cocaine addict, when you need your hit, you can't really wait. <laughs> this is like my precedent doing cocaine. I think most precedents have uh, gone to the bathroom to snort a line every now and then. How else are you supposed to deal with that job? Ironically, I think one of the few world leaders who don't do cocaine it might be Trump. Because he's so high on us himself. <laughs> I don't think he needs it. Alright, let's um... Just keep Ike and Soren here. Oh, Zelensky? 100% a coke snorter. 100%. There's just something about Zelensky. You know. You know he's down bad. Like, that guy doesn't just do one line. He does, like, five. He makes Hunter Biden looks clean, you know? What luck! I got to fight Nephany! Ooh, now I can use Brom's Worm Slayer to attack this guy. Oh, I can use the Worm Slayer now. Actually, I don't know if I'll be able to reach. We'll see. At least try to get the Recover Staff. Oh, the, the Bishop drops a Recover Staff? I actually didn't know. Looks like I can't reach the Mage anyway, so... So, looks like I'm not gonna get him. I do have to be careful about mists. I might just pick her up with Oscar. I'll just run away with her. I have a feeling the boss is probably gonna one run her. I could check, but I'm too lazy. I think I'm okay. The boss will probably attack Nephany again, I imagine. And then he'll run away. Ooh. Ooh. I'm hiccuping. I almost never hiccup. This is really weird. There we go. Oh, where's the recover staff? Is it on the priest to the all the way to the right? Hit points, speed, and def oh, I got speed. Nice. Twenty six speed on Ike. Yeah, boy. Oh, this guy's a storm sword. Interesting. Mang's where's the throne? There's no throne on this map. Is this yeah, this guy has to recover staff. I'll try to get it. Oh shit. Uh the boss might attack Soren now. I don't think he one-shot Soren. I hope not. Nah, he just continues going for Nephany. I think maybe Braum can take the boss now, and then Nephany can get the recover staff. Yep. Let's see. Uh, Worm Slayer. There you go. There you go. He'll probably just run away and pop an elixir. But, uh, uh, no, 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 no! Rom! My recover staff! Rom, why? He got speed and kept defense. That's all that matters. Is the next chapter a Dawn Brigade chapter? I think it is, right? 
Oh my god, Braum, why'd you do that? Oh my god, the Emperor. <laughs> the, the, the emulator is struggling with all these units. Oh right, this is the this is where Ronald ch challenges Skrimir to a fight. Ronald gets into a lot of fights, doesn't he? Oh my god, it's Voltho. I love the Banyan Council, man. They, they look at Voltho. <laughs> uh, and Lacane, good old Lacane and Hetzel. Alright, is this a Dawn Brigade chapter? I can never remember. I think, isn't chapter 3. Point isn't 3.3 .3 a Dawn Brigade chapter? No? The Apostle Sonicky. Oh yeah, this is the river crossing chapter. I remember now. That's 3.6, yeah. It's not Dawn Brigade just yet. Alright, I just want to check out the supports real quick. Yeah, there we go. B ranks, that's 20 avoids. They're really good support. Uh, Titania Gatry, B rank support, that's good. It's not a great support, 10 hit to defense, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Um, Oscar Mists. Give some avoid to Mists. It might keep her alive, I'm not sure. Rismia, double fire. It's also pretty mid, honestly. 10 hit, 2 damage. That's eh, okay, I guess. Uh, and Braum Nephany, let's go! Okay, this one's okay. Two defense, two attack, eight hit and avoid. It's it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. And... Shinon Iliana. I mean, why not, right? Hmm. Water affinity is okay. I wouldn't say it's the best affinity, not by a long shot, but it's okay. Oh, yeah, this is the chapter where you have to burn down supplies. I remember now. All right, let's uh, do a quick unit review. My Ike is pretty good, but that's to be expected from a transferred Ike. 26 speed is really nice. Uh, Titania is okay. Cap strength is nice. Jeez, Titania and Gatry is actually a pretty good couple. Like, they're actually tearing shit up. Uh, my Soren's pretty amazing. He still needs a bit more speed to reliably double, but if he can get it, that'd be really nice. Uh, Mist still sucks. Oscar is amazing. 24 speed, this is great. I can probably give him bonus experience at this point. Uh, Shinon is great. My Gatry is a monster. Cap strength and speed, let's go. My wrist is actually pretty decent. 17 speed is not enough for him to double, but it might help him not be doubled by some units, so... He has some potential, this guy. And the A support with me actually does help a little bit. At least offensively, it does. Uh, Mia's great. Nephany is really good. Look at this. Honestly, bonus experience? She'll get strength, luck, and defense. My Braum is also a monster. Look at that cap defense. Honestly, bonus experience, Nephany. How much do we have? We can give her two levels. I think we should. It's She gets strength, luck, and defense. Let's go. Look at that. Oh no, actually, she gets HP, strength, and luck. But you know what? That's fine. It works for me. She gets strength. That's all she really needs. 22 strength is actually really nice. I can give Riss a bonus level. Why not? Maybe not that good. I should have waited for him to cap rest, probably. Uh, anyone else close to leveling up? Eh. I can give Gatry a bonus level. He might get speed. He did not get speed. Oops. Ah, I'm okay with this. 
probably should have waited with Riz. That was not a good idea. I should have waited for him to cap rest before I give him bonus experience. Then maybe he would have gotten speed. But, eh, it's fine. Liana, nah, cope more. Cope more, chat. Alright, let's do a final meme review, guys. Let's do some meme review. Let's see if there's some good memes. There are. Okay, uh, Golden32, if you're gonna share a meme with me, don't throw me a Google Drive link. That is sussy as hell. Just upload your meme as an attachment. Golden, oh my god, Golden32, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. He's, he's trying to do everything but send me an attachment. All right, last memes of the stream. I messed up, that's okay. You still have a few minutes to send me the meme. Chat, when did Khalil and Heather die? They didn't die, then why aren't they on the death counter? <laughs> half of chat, Heather joins in 3.2. Other half of chat, well, yes, but actually no. Yes. Hector, you're the only one who understands me. Yeah, but it doesn't mean I care. <laughs> oh, Sarah, so precious. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Mangs, if you have kids, you should have two. It's much better than being an only child. Also, Mangs! <laughs> I didn't say anything about killing your children. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a short Q&A, and then I'm gonna conk out. It was nice to stream again, guys. I'm just happy I didn't end the run. Like, I lost a few units, sure, I was a little out of shape. But it's only Rolf and Boyd, who cares? Run is still very much going strong. I think as long as I survive the Dawn Brigade chapters of the Act 3, I should be in a good spot. And my Dawn Brigade is fairly strong, if I remember correctly. So I think I should be okay. The Joffrey chapter might actually be one of the hardest ones. Because I have no units left in Joffrey's squad. So that could actually be a problem. I might have to solo it with Joffrey. Uh, Hanako asks, live coring quest reaction. Uh, that's not a question. You gotta put Q&A. Don't let ask Berwick when? Soon, TM. Phosphorus asks, will you be continuing the trend of playing a new game each month? Um... I've been meaning to go back to that for a while now. There are a few games I want to try out. There's some new Advanced Wars clones on the market that I should probably check out. Uh, Nintendo asks, can Leanne and Raphael get strength through bonus experience despite having a 0% growth? I believe so. I believe so. If you cap every... I think you, you get a growth in your three lowest... You get three stats in your three lowest growth rates. I believe that includes strength if strength is one of those three. Not sure, though. Not, don't quote me on it, but I think that's how it works. So if you cap every every single stat that they have, except for their three lowest ones, they should get a point of strength, in theory. Yamatoko asks, you fool, I just want to wish everyone a good night. Good to have you back, Egg. Aw, oh, thank you. Yamatoko, I love you. Uh, Mr. Egger45 asks, how would you rank Radiant Dawn story? I think it's serviceable. It's like mid-tier. I think Radiant Dawn is far from the most, like, least... I think Radiant Dawn is far from the worst story in the series. It's far from the best. It's just kind of mid. It has its moments. It has very charming characters. It's it's utterly carried by its characters. Like, Radiant Dawn has very good characters. The story, the plot itself is a little meh. I think Path of Radiance works much better. Path of Radiance is a simpler plot, but it's much better in my opinion. Radiant Dawn is a little over the place, and I really hate the blood contract, but the characters are great, and that really carries it. It also has beautiful cinematics, and that really helps. Uh, Pogma asks, Mangs, is Talia's worth playing? I've heard from the, Fire from the Fire Emblem community that it's overrated. Well, never listen to the Fire Emblem community about everything. Or anything, I mean. The Fire Emblem community is always wrong. Uh, you should play the Talia's games, they're great. Path of Radiance is one of my favorite games in the series, even though it is a little slow. Radiant Dawn is also a really great game. They have their problems, but they're classics, and they're fun to play. You should definitely give it a go. 
Uh, Sabes asked Mengs when Unicorn Overlord. Probably on Tuesday. If not Tuesday, then next Sunday. Not this Sunday, but the Sunday after. Itwin Undrift asks, which story and writings are the best in Fire Emblem, Andron included, for you, Mengs, and Chad also? Well, I'm obviously not going to put Andron Saga on that, because that makes me just feel like I'm sucking myself off. Um, the best story in the in, in Fire Emblem is, is Fire Emblem 4, unequivocally, without a doubt, Fire Emblem 4 is the best story in the game, in the series. There's no competition. Uh, Fire Emblem 4 just has a really, really well done story. Great characters, lots of politics, lots of schemings. A lot of things happen off screen, which people don't like, but as long as you pay attention to the dialogue, it usually gets narrated to you. Um, I think Fire Emblem 4 would benefit from a remake because we could show what happens via cutscenes and not just... Fire Emblem 4 has a lot of people telling you what went on in other countries, which a lot of people don't like. I think it's okay. I don't mind it. Um, but if, if we get a remake, then we can show what happens in cutscenes instead of having people narrated to us, which I really hope they do. Uh, Sai asks, any hacks on your radar? I've been meaning to play the second route of, uh, or the route split of Eligor Spare. It recently came out. I know the creator, he's really cool, and Eligor Spare is a really good raw mech. It's very difficult, though. Uh, Thal also asks, any thoughts on Athena Crisis? As I said, I was contacted by the developer. He wants me to play it. I haven't had a chance to really check it out yet, but I, I see that it's an Advanced Wars clone, so I might check it out. Um, Noel asks, what type of coins do you need for coin quest? Oh, I, I don't know. Um, what do I need? Let me... Oh. Let me boot up my 3DS and have a look. Um, nah, it's gonna take forever. Um, I can make a community post about it. Yeah, true. Um, I think I need... Uh, if I remember correctly, I think I might need some spare units? Maybe some archers. I just go check my vault, man. <laughs> uh, ABC is awesome. Ass. Fifteen deaths means no royal lagoos. Bet. You want me to do the tower without royal lagoos? I mean, I've done that before. It's hard, but it's doable. It, j it makes the tower a lot harder, though, if you don't use royal lagoos. I kind of want to use Kurt Naga, though. I love Kurt Naga. He's so much fun to train in in in, in the in the Black Knight chapter. Um, like, I have this strategy with Kurt Naga where I use him and Enna supported up. I, I put them next to each other. I give Kurt Naga a Lagoose gem, and I put him on the cover tile, and I have him de kill everything. And if you get Kurt Naga up to, to like, S-rank strikes, he actually hits really hard. Uh, it's kind of dumb, but I love... I, it's fun to do. I might do it for this Iron Man. And you could make the case that Kurt Naga is a royal, so... He doesn't feel like one, though, because he doesn't start with form shift. He gets it after his father dies. Um, Nintendo asks, do you like the hidden conversation with Rolf's mom? I really like it. It's a shame you have to forego an angelic robe to get it. I really wish you got something better for getting that conversation. I feel like you should get an angelic robe no matter what, but if you get the conversation with Rolf's mom, you should get an angelic robe like plus a blue gem or something. Because... I hate that you have to choose between a cool story, narratively speaking, or a good reward. Because everyone's just going to pick the reward. Like, you know, like... Yes, the dialogue itself is a bit of a reward, because it reveals... A p it reveals that Rolf is not Boyd and Oscar's biological brother. You know, it reveals that he's their adoptive brother, and that he has, like, a big problem with his mom. And it's a really tragic story. But it it's not worth an angelic role. <laughs> so... Uh, Angry Luigi asks, do you think that Engage destroyed Fire Emblem? No, it damaged it quite badly. I think that the, the series is in a very shoddy state because of Engage. It can rebound if the next Fire Emblem game is good. If we get a banger, if we get a banger like Fire Emblem Fates, then we can see a new Fire Emblem Renaissance. And there's a good chance we might see a Direct very soon, because Directs usually pop around around this time of year. If we get a new Switch or a new console together with a new Fire Emblem game, we will see another, like, Treehouses renaissance where we'll, we'll, we'll see, like, a Fire Emblem game that sells for, like, one million copies. Um, and if we get, like, a really good game, then that can be very good. If we get a bad Fire Emblem game, I am worried about the future of the franchise. I think we might go back into uh, Japanese-only territory if that happens. Now, I'll be fine. Um, like, I can play the old games. 
I can play them for as much as I want. Like, I'm not worried about me, but I am worried about the state of the franchise, yes, if, if we get another bad game. Here's to hoping we don't. Uh, here's hoping they learn from Engage and that the next Fire Emblem game has a better story and better characters and that they release it together with a brand new console. That would be the absolute best. Let's pray that that's gonna happen. Um, Untendo asks, how many games need to come out before we think positively of Engage? Is there a chance that people, that we might see an Engage renaissance, that people might like start going back and playing Engage? Maybe? Maybe? If we, if the next game is even worse, then maybe people will go back to Engage. I don't know. Um, give it like one or two games. Maybe people will, will go back and be like, oh, Engage was actually really good. It could happen. Not likely, though. Engage sold three times the amounts of Unicorn Overlord. Yeah, but isn't Vanillaware a much smaller company? Engage sold well, but it was cruising off the success of Tree Houses. It sold really well in the first three weeks, and then it then it dropped. So Engage sales numbers are a little inflated because it was co coasting off the success of a former title, and then once people kind of saw what the game was, the sales dropped off a lot. There is already an Engage fan base. Yeah, like three of them are in my chat. I know, but you know. Phosphorus asks, how was the jet lag when traveling between countries? When I went to America, it was so bad. When I got back from America, it was pretty bad. But I'm starting to recover now. Speaking of jet lag, I am exhausted, guys. It was so much fun streaming for you guys again. I'll see you guys on Sunday with the final pouring quests. We'll be streaming as the servers go down, guys. It'll be... You need to be there. It's going to be an iconic moment in Fire Emblem history. Sunday is literally going to be the last day where we have online 3DS features. After that, we will never see them ever, 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 ever again. So that's going to be very sad. It's going to be the end of an era. It's going to be the official end of, uh, well, it's not going to be the end of the 3DS era because we can still play the 3DS games and we can still emulate them, but it is, it makes me a little sad because I wish that they just kept the servers up forever, but again, they're Nintendo, they're greedy. So anyway, guys, I'm off. Thank you so much. I'm going to check donations super quick. Uh, make sure I didn't miss anyone. Uh, nope, I didn't. All right. Take care. Good night. Bye-bye.